months already, let's go. Some. I don't know what's going on, but I got pinged by a few people. I think we gotta get into the server pretty quick here. We gotta get on Bentley. No time to delay. We gotta go. Happy Sunday, everyone. Hopefully you're all doing absolutely wonderful today. Oh, I am so exhausted, dude. This weekend was so much fucking socializing. And uh, if, 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 you've, if you've hung out with me for a bit, if you talked with me a bit, if you listened to my streams, you know I'm, I'm, uh, I'm a bit of an introvert by nature. 
And that's not to say I'm not a socialite. It's not to say I'm I'm not like I don't like the fact that people think that introverts are antisocial or socially awkward, right? Um but like I lose a lot of energy when I socialize. It takes energy from me to interact with others. Where an extrovert gains energy and is charged up by being around others and loses energy on their own. You know what I mean? Um so I have been around so much family this fucking weekend, and it's why we moved, you know? We moved to be closer to my wife's family, and, and it's a good thing. Carson loves it, but I am burned out, bro. <sighs> All right. RP is a little bit different, though. This is uh, – I almost look at this as – like, it's, 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 inter it's immersive and all that stuff, but it's like content creation, you know? I view this as more content-based rather than actual, like – it's not me socializing, if that makes sense. <sighs> it's just nice to take a deep breath for a second. Uh, yeah, I think Bentley is still, again, Bentley's uh, imposter syndrome is fuck, so. Holy shit, Buffalo Prime, you're fucking so swag. God damn, bro, you're not a loser. Kill zero one, I need someone to pick me up and take me back to MRPD, please. Uh <laughs> Uh, h hello? He's still refusing to get up? Yes, um, he is. I don't know where I am. Hey, Sergeant Vince, uh, the, ele the elevator's open. My eyes are playing tricks on me. I wonder if I just have to walk this way somewhere? Yeah. Oh, gosh. I have an orange vehicle with blue underglow that's kind of circling us from down here. Ah, uh, wait. Oh, my gosh, my memory. Hold on. Oh, I see. Uh, okay. Um, okay. My eyes are working. <laughs> I have my, my glasses Bentley. on. Yeah. Uh, first off, well, that's Cheddar. Oh, hi. Hi, Cheddar. Okay. I have this for you. Also, uh, 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 okay. To... Hunter wanted to wanted you to have his number to contact him when you got yep. in the city. Yep. Okay. All right. Um, We are moving operations... Temporarily to Sandy Shores. Oh, so we're not here at MRPD at all. Nope. Nope. We are right now. We are current. We are currently transporting two high-profile criminals up there for processing. In oh, the Christ! The yep. Got it. Okay. Good to we, know. They they pretty much so downed all but like everything. two of us. I mean, we had oh. dispatchers pulling vehicles. Jesus Christ. Okay. Let me get changed and, and armored up and everything, and I'll be yeah, ready to, uh, to do whatever. Yep. Yeah, yep. They had to hit me in the neck, and then uh, down the block from Pillbox, they got like five, six, seven of us. Jesus yeah. Christ. Okay. All right. Yeah. We're, we're going to, ha we'll have a cuddle up in Sandy Shores. I'm okay. heading up in my personal with Cheddar. Okay. All right. What? Reggie? Kilo 02, 1041. Oh, boy. Perfect. Kilo 02. Oh, boy. Oh boy. All right, uh, let's we move. definitely need you down here. Yeah, we, we need Yeah, you. I'm here in Sandy Shores. ASAP. Or, or where? Yeah, we're going to be doing a uh, transport of two individuals. Uh, we have the Bearcat here at Pillbox. Uh, we're going to do it originally in Sandy Shores, but if you want to do it, uh, fly to Bolingbrook. But after, we can take them to Sandy Shores and then take them to Bolingbrook. It's up to you, man. We're uh, going to do MRPT because we got vehicles circling Pillbox, trying to see what we're doing with these guys. 10-4, yeah. Sandy Shores is good. Uh, do you want to come get this vehicle, or? Alright. Is it cool that I'm driving? The uh, Bearcat is currently in lower pillbox. I uh, can come pick you up if you want to come to it. Sure, 10 4. Oh, uh, LT. I asked, yeah. I asked Commander so Thompson this, and I think uh, I think I'd like your input on this as well. Is it is it considered an overreaction to request that everyone partner up at this point, regardless of numbers? Uh, yeah, no, that's fine. Alright. You know the be situation better than I do. Yeah, so basically, basically, uh, Arden Long shot down Lawson, and then it was a wild, wild ass goose chase. It got to the point where he continued shooting on officers, really and then on it went from Long him to, to his friends, because and then, uh, too much pain to officers move. shot down multiple so suspects, are, uh, and then one guy decided to come in and shoot so down five officers. Him one Jesus. V5. Without him being Completely too much pain. one V5. 
Okay. And uh, saved uh, some suspects that were downed by officers. Okay. So uh, Arnold Long's in custody. He's going to be sent away for a long-ass time. As well as someone else to try to interfere and the play Opening hero. Place into the Bearcat and, uh, b b based on these events, Four. I'm formally requesting that Four. from this point on, uh, we Four. allow units to partner up regardless of coverage. The elevator unlocked. Okay. And That's fine. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm good with okay. it if the commander is too. All right. Thank you. All right. Let's go transport. Let's go transport this some bitch. All right. Our kilo four is coming down the elevator. Wow, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> Commander Thompson, are you on comms? Right, we got units ready for transport. Uh, are we waiting on uh, Bentley? Uh, I'm still at MRPD right now. I could drive myself there or whatever the plan is. 127's in the garage for you. Alright, 10 4. 10 4. We have uh, myself and Trappy here in a CVPI to help with the escort. Do we it. got Garrison down here. Uh, the goal is three vehicles in the Bearcat. Alpha and Mendoza are be in a charger for escort and only one more vehicle. I can, I can, uh, I can join as well, but I'm waiting for Commander Thompson. Delta One is heading up Sandy Shores right now. Confirm. Uh, 76th full box with Commander Thompson. We'll Actually, be in the Maxwell is already at uh, Blaine County, by the way. Confirm. Delta One is heading up Sandy Shores right now. Uh, the white highcade is parked across the street from lower pillbox in the parking lot. Four. One four. Well, what in right, the here. fuck? Alright, this is going Bolingbrook. Uh... Uh, sheriff station. Oh, that's right. Uh, you got it on map. I got uh, it. Ten four. I can do that. Oh, Mark's got it. All right. How many? Who you got in here? Uh, we have Mars, Mars and Bentley. Okay, we have, we have three both vehicles suspects here, here for the escort right, and the Bearcat. So we're ready for the escort to Sandy. Uh, we're, you can uh, be behind uh, the Bearcat. We're going code two on this or code one? Uh, we're going code two. Primitive. Bearcat is moving. Block now. You want a vehicle in front of the Bearcat or negative? A firm. Four. Kill okay. four, lead the pack. Channel will be tertiary position behind the Bearcat. White Hecate is coming. Clear. Close out. Away. I mean, they'd be stupid to try to attack, to take us. I, so. I would think so no. too, but you never know. Man, this car is so pretty. Right? On the high mm -hmm. I think I Orange see it here. far behind. Uh, positive. Uh, Opposite lanes of travel, people. high cade northbound. We have the white BMW as well in opposite speed. lanes. Interesting. We advise, we have three vehicles. White BMW Pulling ahead of us. jumping ahead of us. Hmm. I wonder what their play is going to be here. Um, uh, I have no idea. Very curious, honestly. Well, we don't go much faster than this, so. Well, we are flooring it. Worving in front of me right now. Do we have any units over at Sandy yet? We do. Uh, I think Lieutenant Knight. 
vehicles over there. there. Okay, that is not good. No. Well, this is a new one. I can hear you. They're talking to me now. Is it real time corrections time? They're saying they're gonna kill the hostages inside of the car. Two hostages. They're saying they want the people inside, or the two hostages are going to be killed. All right, that's a drastic decision on their part. You know, we need to we need to talk this out first. I have a gun to their head. Okay, I understand. Okay. But you're going to need to give us a minute because this is pretty drastic. This is pretty drastic. We do not want to kill these men, but if we do not see that our demands are succeeded, we will. Okay? We are willing to comply with you guys. Be interesting to know why. Why are they willing to risk the lives of somebody for his release? All right, give us give us a couple minutes. I got a plate lock. Vehicle is gonna be uh. Kind of come, I think this, we already ran this play. It comes back to Amiri Davis, who I believe is the person who made the call. Yeah, it's black boy with, with zeros. Well, okay, yes, so this sir, is a pretty yes, difficult sir. decision. I don't know how we're gonna go about this. Yeah, ten four. Do we? Can you? Do you have eyes on hostages themselves? We can. We can hear you. Listen, I cannot Listen. see the hostages well. Okay, we, we are going the to get, are, I'm gonna remove everyone from the car. I'm gonna keep my gun on them, and everyone is going to get out of the car. Okay. Gotcha. Okay, I'm going to get out for here. Here's what we're gonna do. Here's a plan. Let me know what you guys think. If we have units that are not here, we're currently on this freeway. There's no way for them to go. There's one way for them to go. You guys can spike further up. You can try and catch these guys. Our goal right now is to get these hostages out. But if we do that and we comply with their demands, they have nowhere that they can go. They've put themselves in a really bad position. But given that this is an escape from custody, this will immediately be ABT level 3. Uh, the individuals inside shot at multiple officers. I believe any any kind of any kind of breakout usually authorizes lethal force, but well, I'll let you guys know. I'll let you guys decide. The is out and hiding behind their vehicle. They reached into their something. I don't know if we have additional units to sneak us like a spike on either side though. We don't. Oh, we have uh, night is over at uh, the sheriff station. I probably do something. These guys' lights are killing my head. I say go for it. Listen, I can't turn off the lights, man. I appreciate the siren. Well, think, who's the other hostage? Who's the other? Who's the second hostage? Do we have visual? Oh, we can confirm there are definitely two people with the guns pointed to their heads. All right, I'm hopping out of my car. Let's talk about this, okay? Okay, let's talk about this. Should we have, should we have Lieutenant Knight set up so spike strips? This is not uh, We may not have a choice. No we not may have to see if she can. I might go Knight, right now uh, to get these two guys out This is a little here, unusual, man. but uh, do you see our 20 near mile marker, uh, Charlie? It, guys. You guys don't want to do this. If you do, uh, if you can sneak away to spike strip the far side of it, so northbound, the direction that we're currently facing, uh, that would be very helpful. If you spike maybe left or right, let us know. So when we begin chase, we know which ways to dodge it. So, bad news. There there are no spike strips up here for me to get. Uh, I have one on my person, too. You locker. Uh, you go okay. where the dispatch office is. There's so, a locker so look, to uh, a the right. You're walking in the door. I'm gonna pull my gun. You got two hostages. Perfect. Your fucking brain. Like okay, so are you guys, you guys cool with me getting out the vehicle? Cause I think my gun's been in and it's not get going out, into my pocket. Ranger shit. So I can. So if I go to the other side of the vehicle, <laughs> you're cool with me? Listen, our officers up front, me and this guy, we're hopping out of the car. 
if we yeah, have to let them go like just so we, we can swap them I'm later, I think it's a good idea. We have two hostages. Those are our priorities. Fuck Arden at this point. Because this is a hostile situation. We understand. 50th time, I understand that. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna... Let me point out my... car behind us, gun. there is only one driver. I believe he is taking okay. positions to line up okay. shots with myself and So, like I said earlier, this is definitely not worth not it for you guys. I'm not coming close right now. They're on radio. Yeah, I'm, listen, I'm fine right here, man. Relax. We got relax. a tip earlier about what I'm radio, not, they, not radio cover, frequency man. they Don't might worry be on. About it. I'm fine. I took I took half a step. Yeah, I believe it was uh, seven right, two fine, three. Fine, fine, relax, relax. Listen, I'm gonna turn one to that radio frequency. Yeah, officers, they're real brave. Hey, you know what? Here's the All thing, right, Arden. What prevents I mean, them from yourself in a scary scenario, taking you man. and shooting us still? I imagine All right, this isn't just about the hostages here. I imagine that you're doing this. What's probably gonna happen? Because you are scared. Ten four. You're doing this very irrationally, and you guys are scared. And so I'm giving you an out here, man. You guys are saying these guys are hurting me. Oh, that's good. Listen, listen. How are we listen gonna here, use him? To me. We can get him okay. to speak uh, he can... Listen to me. I heard your demands. I already understand them. But yeah, I'm trying can... to speak to you. They, they would see him coming a mile away. Any progress here? If you keep talking over me. I think so. Okay, okay. So listen to me here. This is pretty intense. Damn six months right, already. Trying to get this okay, out. Thanks for six months. I'm telling you. Right now we have so many units here. This is not so worth the car it. Down the street. Okay. It doesn't matter. It matters to me. It matters to a lot. These people here, well, they don't deserve this. They're innocent. Your friends no, shot at multiple we officers. We don't want to hurt them. And your friends are getting what they... They're getting the cards that they dealt. You know these guys are going to tell they're our plans, right? getting the cards that they were dealt. We are closing. Advance 410 just went on duty. There's an undercover car in the garage. If we got him to load up with spike strips, he could come up Palomino Freeway. So the one to our right and get ahead of them and try and place the spike if you think you can uh, stall for that long. If you guys, if you guys don't want to hurt them, going up the wrong side. You guys got to work with um, me. Well, we're not going to go anywhere. Try and make my way up with okay. spike trips loaded on the other side from where you guys are at. I mean, code one. And I mean, don't, uh, I'm, I'm letting you know yeah, your options, one. okay? Yeah, go up Palomino Freeway, like, oh, not Los Santos this Freeway. This kind of drastic spikes. action, you guys uh, need to be aware of We're going north, but, but not going options. south. Okay. okay? And I think that's a completely uh, fair thing for overpass, me to let you know what your options are. You have option A. You give these guys me, to yeah. us, and you get to leave. That is option A, which is very fair. You want me to yeah, come to the southbound in case they turn around? Because I can shot show at five officers. Yeah, yeah I wasn't sure if that was It was well deserved. Trip. So yeah, go ahead and go okay. southbound and up Los Santos Freeway. He cut uh, does not the spike strips at about... These two people here, they're innocent, they're uninvolved, there's no reason for them to die. 4002. Your Vance is doing great. Is you give us the hostages in exchange the, uh, for your friends. Put put it southbound on what would be wrong lane travel going southbound. Yes. We just okay. want, listen to me. And we when we and we, let it be known, you will get your friends, but we will come at you at full force. If you if you put our friends in the back of this car and we will give you Because your you only your only negotiation here is those two guys for these two guys. That is it. Okay, we are not going any further than that. These are negotiations. We will give you these men if we get the two of our friends Spike in the back trips of the car are going to be in the left lane. And we get the drive off in the car. All, all, all units be advised. I will hold the units in I the Bearcat cannot help in terms of discussing these plans because the suspect will hold the gun at the window at this hostage. And then as we drive off, that is when he will be released. Got you. But I want you to, I want you guys. Fortune has had top. Just give me one minute. <laughs> right. Okay. So give give us give us another couple minutes. I'll get back to you. Okay. Don't make any sudden movements. Sir, we, do anything we weird. You will be immediately be shot. We do not want to hurt these men. If you shoot, you'll probably hit them. We just want to see this continue. No sudden movements. Okay. We just we just want our friends here. Because if you if you make anything any weird moves, then I have I have no reason to believe that you guys are going to honor any of this. I'm I'm honoring we're, gonna, we're going to honor as long as you work with like you said, man. Like you said, if you work with us, we'll work with you. If you work with us, we'll work got with you. Got you, got you. Loud and clear, loud and clear. Give me a second. Okay, 
Okay, so I gave him two options. Option A was they give the guys to us, and uh, they, they just get to go. Or option B, we exchange the two individuals for the two individuals. Uh, with option B, obviously we're gonna have our, we're immediately going AVT level three. This is escape from custody. Uh, there's no reason to give them any leeway. Their only two demands would be two hostages for their two friends. Uh, so spike strips, fucking shoot at them, whatever after, right? That understood? Affirmative. Ten four. The vehicle, vehicle behind us as well, just in case. I understand. There's a vehicle behind us. How many? How many people are behind us? One. 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 Okay. So right now, me only me and Trap are out. But for our you know, bowling behind, really not that uh, bad. Let's see if you guys can hop out. How many? You got two people in that car. You, you should go there, man. Uh, myself and Commander. I do go there quite a bit, but our plan was. If given permission, we back up behind slowly and bump into this car here, so the suspect can be Are you saying, we'll uh, Mr. Marjorie, that you don't want to go with them? And we can subdue the suspect oh, by look, shooting look, them look. I, I'm not fucking tempted um, anything here. I'm keeping my fucking mouth shut. I don't want to get risky. shot. We have two people up here. Okay. And we don't also don't want to get shot, believe it or not. When, uh, yeah, if you guys do that, they're almost certainly shot. going to get shot. We can just do this without being shot. It's That'd be a great. last resort in case things at their fall fall flat. Ten four understood. Whatever happens, happens. What the fuck? Can't, we can't reach the <laughs> this is actually really fucking exciting. This is why we do this, by the way. Now. Loading up the spike strips now. Ten four. What's your what's your current twenty? Still at MRPD. Okay, we're currently uh. This is literally what we C. wanted when we made when we made this whole cert in stars. We wanted this to be possible. So this is really cool. It's really yeah, nerve wracking. I'm very nervous, but it's fun. Hey right, man, how about you guys? Uh, we're trying to figure this out. Yeah, like I said, we're trying to figure this out. What I'm concerned about now is the well-being of the hostages. Arden, you said so well-deserved. Real quick. And your attack on uh -huh. us. What do you mean by that? So here's okay, the thing. Oh, do I wish I had another pilot thing. available to me right now? Okay, so both. I both didn't even kill anyone. Well oh. <laughs> it was one of them. It was probably one of them. Okay. Oh, okay. But you still said well deserved. That doesn't answer my question. Yeah. You guys oh, are shit. doing fine. Know. They didn't hurt you or anything. If I could, yeah. I would come yeah. with yeah. one of our. One of my boys was. Air support. One of his demands was not honored. Just making sure. That was. Like I said, that was kind of oh, weird. negative. We don't want to intimidate them. We don't want to hurt you guys. We just want our friends. No. Not necessarily for that part. Okay. Well, I want you to know that this is not a delicate process, and things like this take time. I don't know when what universe you thought this was gonna be a quick operation. <laughs> and don't complain about it. There's plenty of reason. <laughs> thumbs, thumbs, thumbs up right now. Hey, uh, yeah, kill zero four. Uh, like I said, uh, we do give these guys the uh, two people in exchange for the hostages. Uh, the people in the Bearcat can take the hostages, given that's the least mobile vehicle here. Uh, the Explorer, the Charger, and the Crown Vic can uh, proceed as primary, ter uh, secondary, tertiary if a chase does ensue. Like I said, AVT level three immediately, uh, and also lethal force. And 10 4, this is also probably the safest vehicle. 410 is on route to place the spike southbound. 10 4, make sure you are as low key as possible. What's your current 20? Uh, around Sinner's Passage, around 8043. 10 4, there's only one individual. So they were stopping uh, us, that's the, the thing. At the high gate, correct? And they were like, and we have guns pointed to them, you stop now or we shoot. Right now. At four. that point, we have to stop. It would be very uh, reckless of us not to at I'm least engage. I'm going to try and place it around mile marker beta, so that way they can't really see me, but it's still there. No, 
Hey, That's okay. If I may ask, what's your friend in the back doing there, man? You got somebody with him? possible. Move it closer you, towards you where that little road shoots around, around the mountain, just so that okay, we're closer okay. to this overpass. There's For walls what? here they can't get over, so we kind of have them in a box with only two exits. We can block both those exits. We got them. I see what you're talking about. Yeah. Okay, well, him there. being right behind hey, us makes us be very uneasy. Okay. Okay. He might be scouting somewhere. He has, he's been in the entire well, time. Well, he hasn't somehow. found anything. Okay, I, I do not trust him. And I don't trust his position, so if you can do me a favor with the leeway that I'm giving you, can you move him up here? Sir, I will so that we are face to face. I will consider this, but I need to ask you. We wanted an update on this, and you're now talking about our friend in the back. We want an update first. What is happening? I'll tell, I'll tell you what's happening. I just double checked. They are on frequency 723. Oh, wow. Crazy tip. Bring them to your cruiser. Okay. Bring them to your cruiser. You I'll bring them outside right of the vehicle. Now. But if I bring them outside of the vehicle, then officers need to get out of the vehicle with them to break them, bring them out. You have an officer right there. You have an officer right there next to you. Yeah, he's here for bring my them, protection, so I, I'm cruiser. not moving him. You can keep them tough right now. Just bring them up to your cruiser. I mean, no, I'm going to have one of them in the Bearcat get out and bring them out. Okay. This officer here is not moving. He is here to back me up. I'm at the position. Do you want me to just cover opposite lanes or both lanes? Stand by. Bro, is nobody hitting a bank right now? This is the only thing that's happening? What the fuck? <laughs> uh, there's some hunting shots if you really want to know. Hey, go figure. Why? <laughs> this is actually <laughs> horrible. <laughs> this is actually so bad. Hey, how are they this is the get only thing out? that's happening. <laughs> Okay, so you want him? Do you want them so to pull the real prisoners, prisoners no out from the front? Like, you know, why are we being I picky about would this? love that if we would implement that. Mm-hmm. You'd be surprised how much wildlife we slaughter okay, every day. Like I said, exactly. It's messed up. It is. I agree. Okay, one officer. But if for that to happen, your friend needs to come up here, face to face. No, 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 no. We said once that happens, once you bring up that car, I saw a vehicle with the orange underglow past me, but not an Unrelated. orange vehicle. Unrelated. The f road is not closed off. Ten. Uh, Mendoza just informed me they know about the spike strips and the positions we put them in. How? The hell? Right, fine. We're gonna How? bring them out, right? How? Okay. They must have eyes elsewhere. Is this gonna time serve? Uh, wait, so, wait, they know about it? Apparently. How do you know they know about it? I'm I received a tip free. about a frequency that they sent us and Mendoza checked it. Do that much. Wait, are they on that frequency right now? They are. Wait, man. Wait, so. Hang on, the tip that we received uh, about the frequency, you're saying Mendoza checked it? She just checked it right now, yeah. Uh, I don't think we should use that tip in that case. Well, for reasons. Okay. Yeah. Um, I don't feel too, I don't feel too comfortable with that one. Ten four. I don't know if we have any options anymore. That's ten four. Yeah. Uh, so they want the uh, people to come out of the vehicle. Or they want one officer from the Bearcat to bring the two individuals outside so that they are visible. Uh, and then the high cage is going to come out front because I feel very uneasy of that car being behind us. Front away. 10 4, if we do that uh, and the, the high cage comes forward, uh, the explorer in the back should block off the, the road heading uh, southbound. At 4. All right, um, I'll stay as the driver point. Uh, All right, just in so, case. so one of you uh, two will need to. Set amongst yourselves which oh. officer is going to come out and okay. uh, uh, bring them out of the car. I assume all of you have to actually get out to pull them out of the car because they're cuffed, right? Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll try it out, yeah. Yeah, it's going to take all of us. Okay, all right. We should let them know that. Yeah, let them know that all three of us are kind of, There's three troopers in here. All three of us are going to have to exit to help pull them out. Okay, so we're gonna bring your friends out, but due to limitations right now, the spikes the city, are just placed in opposite lanes. Get out of the I can block can't pull them out. I'm weird oh, lanes. Cuffed. They try and come this way, but that's about it. Okay, so they're so they're all gonna come out at the same time. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. Just don't take that to be weird, okay? I yeah, understood. 
I don't know how they got, I don't know how they know. Okay, so go ahead and bring them out. No, no one move forward past the front of the vehicle. Just bring them out of the vehicle okay. uh, so that they're visible on the road. And we can get this freaking Audi out of our way. Hey, we got an issue too. You see these cars that are flying past us here? We need to figure out a way to stop that for, I don't want to bring them out and them getting hit. 10-4. I can try and block oncoming traffic. Uh, I'm gonna, yeah. I'll just block incoming traffic. So, Pierce, right, Pierce, did you Pierce, did you spike the that side or the or the other one? The side that we're not on, the opposite lanes. Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean the direction. Like, are you like that's towards the city? Is that the side that you spiked? Um, basically going towards the city. Yeah. Okay. Can you do you think it's possible for you to come around and do the other uh, other side too? Yeah. I mean, it's you a difficult situation. Let's try everything we can. Up north, because I thought Staria placed them down already. I'm just trying to understand the situation. Uh, she said she didn't. She could not access spike strips from the Sandy PD. All right. Um. I I only had seven or eight on me. I need to go get more. That's fine. But yeah. How many did you drop? <laughs> I dropped four or five. I made sure it was thorough. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> Holy shit! You only need like one! Oh my god! Alright, we'll wait. <laughs> Alright, you guys ready to do this? You communicated to your friend what's happening? Yes, yeah. Let's get these guys right. to hop out. Here we go, let's do it. Up. Make sure that they're uh, they're all cuffed and everything. Yo, my boys in Taruga. Once he, once he sees, uh, once they see the two uh, individuals, uh, the high kid's gonna come up on the left side. My right, boys in Taruga. What are we doing? Hey, ankle cuff them. Out. What are we doing here? I think, Sir, I think something's just going on. on. Sir, you're, you're not we're trying still. To, we're trying to get everything working. Just just kind of... He's not even moving. That's fucked. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually fucked up. What the hell? We're out of the vehicle. Yo, tell him to get the shot. Cause I'm going to go reload back on the spike trips now. No, I'm not doing that. It's too bad. Listen, listen. They're staying where they are. They're out of the car. Yes, it is. Are you at the station right now? Uh, yeah, if you I can. I did not agree to that. I will bring yeah. you up to the you know how you can pick me out? And by another proper vehicle run. if you can. In case there's, there's shooting, you're just gonna let me stand here and be a moving target? Come on, man. Okay. The, the bring them up place, to, like, the front. Hey, our, our job is safety. If, if there is shooting, don't worry. You'll be shoved in a place that's safe, and we'll make sure that you aren't hurt. No, I won't. I'm actually gonna die. No, don't You breathe, might need to move him breathe. a little bit, man. Like... Okay. Yeah, Just I'm, a little bit. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna. I'm an open yeah, sight. He needs to go a little bit over. I'm gonna yeah. get blasted. Yeah, we'll put you guys again. Driver the high key. Oh, my boys in Karuga. What does that even mean? What is going on? My boys in Karuga, man. You know what that means? No, I've never heard of this. Are they both? Are they both uh, ankle cuffs right now? Do you know about Taruga? Okay, bring them up to the to the side. You ever heard of Taruga? I uh, do the I right side so it's more protected. So pretty much, pretty much yeah, like, boys like in Taruga. Coming up from the left side, by the way. Yeah, and then now. these, these are the boys in, right from Taruga. Oh. I take get more. Just Can you get case. these tags off of him? What's happening here? Forward, man. Forward. Yeah, I can hear you. The rule for it, yeah, I agree. Once we drive off, that is our route. Release to you of the hospital, okay? Okay. So wait, run run me through that again, just so it's clear. I need the first 
step is you need to un uncuff those men and let them enter the back of this white vehicle. Okay, so the so this white vehicle, the this white BMW. vehicle, the white four door. Okay. I need you to uncuff them and they're gonna go in there. The driver is then gonna get in, holding his Jonathan hostage on his side. Ready? I'm then going to get in with this man in front of me. I'm going to get into the car as I'm holding. Stand by. No, uh, they're negotiating how uh, this transfer will work. So, okay, so you're gonna, so we're gonna bring these guys up, and you're gonna bring those guys up. Diaz, Diaz are getting gas now, but we have the spikes. Oh, this is really confusing. We need you to just give us our oh, no, I understood it the first time. What? I need to make sure <laughs> I, I understand confusing. this completely. Okay. Listen, that is a okay. that is a whole thing, okay? Just, just thing. don't shoot. So, like, okay, yeah, let, either let party, just don't I shoot. He's got it. The man behind yeah. That's literally okay. it. Okay. You're okay, so first first. Okay. You guys are gonna well, if you guys start shooting, oh, what, what's gonna happen? Yeah, this, guy, this guy's talking, man. I, he's talking over you. Can you yelling, start over. <laughs> I'm trying to. I mean, I, I'm as loud as I can get. They're gonna try to exchange the, the. We're basically gonna try to do an exchange at the same time. The second they start driving off, we're shooting. Um, gotcha. that's from especially our team uh, here at the at the at the truck because gotcha. I'm not chasing him. So then the man to my left with the gun, he's gonna do the same thing. He's gonna train his gun on his hostage, get into the driver's seat while his gun is still trained. And okay. then once all of them are in the car, the two men behind me and the two men that are cuffed, they're gonna drive off. Then both of us, me and the other hostage, were free. And then once they drive off... Yeah, I, like I'm, I'm going to request that we move the truck to be able to get the hostages quickly behind it, and then I'm going to fucking gotcha. open fire the second so we get it. So we're doing one hostage at a time? Yes, sir. Okay, so passing... Hey, I, I'd like to move this truck so uh, at least up a little bit so we can get him to safety. No, no. I think you can bring him up to this Crown Vic and uncuff them and they can get in. The Crown Vic? No, no, no. We need to get them in this truck. The Crown Vic. Yeah, we're, we're putting them in that truck. We're not, we're not putting them in the Vic. So, uh, you're putting our friends in our BMW. Yeah, I'm talking no, about the hostages. Oh, no, no, no. The hostages are just going to... Listen, no. Well, the hostages are going... Listen. The hostages, the hostages they are, are going to go to the seven offices. Yeah, your, your friends are going to you where you want, and they're going to come to us where we want. Is that block, fair? Block traffic over here. Yeah, but we're not... Okay, so we, we want we, so we want them to go to the Bearcat. And so we so we're gonna bring the Bearcat up. We're trying to we're trying to do it in the best way, whereas we won't hit the hostages when we Yeah, I know. You don't want them to bring the Bearcat up. What did he just say? Seven, if you are at MRPD. Oh, this cop is gonna shoot you guys. What? This guy in front of me. He said he said they're trying to move the hostages back. So that when that yo 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 I heard that motherfucker. Also, I don't want to hit the hostages when we go after them. <laughs> That's actually hilarious. Guys are dead. I'm not getting shot because of a probe. <laughs> this guy has short sleeves on. Wait, where's my shirt? Listen, listen, tell me. Are you guys doing this on the fly? Was this planned? No. Because no, I feel like fucking, I feel like everything keeps changing, man. Like, pressing. what do you guys want? We're not yeah, we we want it. Weird. And we know we don't negotiate with terrorists, motherfucker. <laughs> Tell me one thing: is this politically motivated? <laughs> is this politically motivated? <laughs> <laughs> this politically motivated? <laughs> <laughs> okay, relax, relax. Don't you do? Don't do anything hasty like that. Don't say anything like Once that. Once the hostages are safe, yeah, we open fire. We know. I have to ask you questions so that we can communicate clearly. Shit that does not make any sense, bro. Okay. <laughs> what are you talking about? Hey, 
Yeah, yeah, this entire scenario doesn't make any fucking sense. Me too. <laughs> oh, why am I? I'm free. I'm pretty sure it's during my time. I'm like more than positive. It's been like three hours. Yeah, it's bummer they didn't just let you serve it actually instead of sitting here on a fucking highway. Uh, I'd rather, I'd rather, this is more interesting. Uh, <laughs> hey, yo, we got the spikes up front. What do you need him? You didn't know where to go. What specific location? Just right in front of you guys? Because that's going to be pretty late. No, 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 no. There's way, you can go way down the road. Okay. What is happening? We can do that. <laughs> what are you doing? So there's, so this road goes all the way down to Sonora Freeway. There's a merge. So send them down We're right there, yeah. Down now, yeah. Yes, it ends. please, yeah, right those there. Me. But give us, give, gonna be really make bad. sure there's room. Right? Make sure there's room. We just need to know yeah, what side Stand too. in front of me like, like a shield. Hey, honestly, this isn't. I mean, I can't this move. Isn't, if, 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 this if, isn't time served, though. I mean, I know how he's, he's complaining that it is, but it's not. Like, this isn't a part of your service. Like, we, we want. Listen, man, I'm just saying, you guys to move you to the right spot, you and you're choosing this. not to, so it's like, so it's like the same reason that we don't count pillbox as time served. You didn't have to go to pillbox. It is what it is. You chose actions that got you is. hurt. Your friends have chosen actions that has kept you outside of your service. So this isn't this isn't time served at all. In my in my in my uh, opinion. I actually didn't talk lane. shit. I just they just, they were away. Bowling bomb. I just, they just didn't like understand what Copy that. Himself. The left lane. Yeah, he was, he was uh, not talking any that, shit. Please. I've been listening to him the whole time. The left I was lane to see is going to be blocked. 10-4. Yeah, but who cares? Who cares? Are we getting? Are they uncuffing them? Yeah, man. It's, it's about to be underway. You'll do it then. Alright, are we all good? Am I clear to move this up? Closer, or do they want it right here? Is he is he good to move the the bear cat up? No, no, please. The bear cat can Bro, sit up. I don't even do that much. On the left. I there's there's a CVPI. Oh, where do you want us? Okay, so you, so you want God, so can these officers CVPI bring them up them. Them. and uncuff them? They can bring up here CVPI and uncuff them. Head into the car. They can bring them up to the front of the CVPI and uncuff them. It's not going to get rid of the battery. Okay, are you guys going to move up? No, we're not going to. We are not moving. I don't see you guys here for. Where do you guys want us? Okay. So uh, you want uh, you want them to uncuff them and put them in the car. Okay. All right. So you're gonna release the hostages as you guys get into the car, just to make sure it's crystal clear. Okay. Yeah, but what? Yeah, but what prevents them from just shooting the hostages? They're gonna be out in the open. Okay, here's what we're gonna do though, because those two hostages are just gonna be there, and you guys are gonna have what you want. So we're gonna have to do one at a time. We're going to have to do one at a time. Your word means jack shit to me. You took two people hostage. Your word means jack shit to me. Let's go, Vance! Oh my god, give him my job. What the fuck? Okay, that's better. That's what, that's what we've been trying to do. That's what we've been trying to get. Hey, man, I'm sorry. I get confused. This is a high tense situation. Gotcha, gotcha. Gotcha. Alright, let's do the finishing touches and get this over with, man. Are you about to be a hostage? All right, so we got everything set up on both sides. Yeah, for the entire the left lane is spike like going going back. Like okay, so the entire left lane heading towards uh, the penitentiary. Yeah. Okay, and what about uh, going back towards the city? It's going to be in opposite lanes heading towards the city, southbound. Okay. So uh, what we're going to do, we're going to have uh, one officer bring up uh, a prisoner for a hostage, uh, one at a time. And then we're going to immediately pursue AVT level three, lethal force, ramming pitting. Fuck these guys. They uh, took two people hostage. Uh, they don't have free uh, free passes. They don't have no spike strips. Uh, our number one goal is to get these guys back in custody and get.
get these assets if you took these people hostage in custody as well. 10 4. All right. Uh, okay, let's uh, let me let me tell them we're about to begin. Uh, let's bring up uh, Mr. Murtori first. Okay, we're gonna be bringing up uh, one guy up to uh, the side of my CPI, this side here. Uh, as long as you guys uh, release a hostage and uh, get in the car. Well, Sound good? We, 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 want, we want both of our guys over there, uncuff them in the car. Okay, we're gonna do one at a time. We're just gonna bring him up, uncuff him, he gets in the car. Okay, okay yeah, we're but, but we're, not, we're not releasing hostages until they're both in the car, okay? Okay, that's not gonna happen. You release one hostage for one person in the car. Yeah. Okay. That's completely fair. This what? So do it one at a time. Yes, yes. But we're not releasing the hostages for them. You guys are putting them in the car. We're, we're going to release the hostages for us to get into the car, okay? That's when we're releasing the hostages. So we just need to see our two friends in the back All of the right, car. Alright, don't be weird. We will get these men over to you. Alright, well, let's fucking do it then. Right, thank you, sir. Just to reward how this is going to go, um, they're going to be basically trading themselves with hostages. So you guys are going to place the... Uh, <laughs> you want, like the suspects into the vehicle, you, and then when the suspects are in the vehicle, they're basically going to be trading off themselves for the hostages that they currently have. Oh, I yeah. Mr. Meritori. <laughs> this is pretty cool, uh, though. Far? Like, even if we lose here, like, it doesn't Bring matter. This is fucking cool. Yeah, why, why him and not me? That's right kind of cringe. <laughs> That's kind of cringe. <laughs> Man, I don't make the rules, man. What the fuck? Hey, listen, now uncuff him and let him get into the back of this BMW. Hey, Rob, it's alright, man. You're gonna be alright. You're gonna be okay. Okay. So, Rob, just slowly ahead. walk just get in the back of the BMW. Just get in the back of the BMW. Back past the city. God, is going to prison really worth this? Now we need. Yeah, you have to Apparently. <laughs> Like, it's not that bad. These guys are risking a lot to get their friends away from prison. What charge are we really looking at, though? That's the real question. Like multiple years. Kidnapping? Uh, what else? Like, several. Like, many. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> it's, it's just kidnapping. Okay. You can just serve your time and go. I don't know. Fuck. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. All right, bring up Mr. Long. Reminder, our goal is to get these hostages back to the Bearcat and for protection Lock as quickly as possible. Lieutenant, move a little bit out of the way here in case they decide to take off. Get ready. So, this, just to not serve time, it's fucking we weird. Yeah, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Are you going to shoot? What are you going to do? Are you going to shoot, Bob? 10 4. This guy's your friend? You're saving this asshole? <laughs> this guy's your friend. <laughs> <laughs> not worth. Not fucking worth. This yeah, guy's I bet you're fucking bald under that beanie. I'm not. Rude. Jesus. Jesus. Fucking ball ass motherfucker. Ball ass motherfucker. Whatever. Alright, everybody, be calm, right? Make sure you're good headspace, ready to go, focused. It's gonna be a, might be a bit of a doozy. Those of us that are with um, the Bearcat, we're gonna try to get the hostage back in the city quickly and try to join in and help. Guys, open the trap if you open fire, aim for the tires. Affirmative. Yeah, that's where I'm aiming right when they start to drive off. Hands will be running primary, gears will be secondary. I'll still be Commander Thompson with the tertiary, not far behind will be Pierce at the end. Run past me, run to the big car. Okay. Yo, wait. 
10-4. You don't get too close the second they start moving. Bring the, bring the hostage to me, please. Okay, now listen, sir, do not move. I'm going to be getting into the vehicle. I'm aiming my weapon at him. You're all right, okay? We're going to get you out of here. Okay, bring the hostage over us. Thank you, guys. Just, uh, you might want to cover your ears. Run to me, please. Run to the big car. 210 taking primary, Mendoza looking to run primary, or secondary comms. All right, let's get All you right. back in the city. Uh, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's watch for the spikes, watch for the spikes. Uh, I think we're going to Any way you want to ride, it's safe, don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there we go. The primary vehicle was long. <laughs> All right, we're going to get you out of here as fast as possible. Northbound snore. Oh, Is Mendoza allowed to shoot at the suspect's oh. vehicles? 10-4. 10-4, oh, That was your car? Okay, we yes, also that have was the my car. orange vehicle ahead of us. Oh, oh, man. Man. Yeah, behind us. Spikes, yeah. I'm trying to look where they are. Oh, they're on that side. Okay, they're okay. covering the other we'll, side. We'll start target. Explorer up at Spike. All right, you guys see it. Right. Let's is keep there, comms going on the BMW. Is there a good BMW. spot that we can, we can drop you guys off? We can do MRPD. Freeway, the orange One of us takes the suspect statements. The other two are going to get back out there. Ace just took out someone. And the orange uh, vehicle is blocking, so we're that, still chasing right after the individual in the white right, vehicle. Fine. They're firing okay, back at us. We'll go there. Still heading northbound Sonora Freeway. Ooh, we're still heading northbound Sonora Freeway. They're gaining on us, though. We see the orange vehicle. Have they done anything, or is this just a distraction? Yeah, just focus on the BMW. Everything else is just to distract us. Unless they start interfering and ramming, ignore them. <laughs> trying to ramp it. <laughs> trying to this ramp white it up. vehicle gaining on us. Can go. Long eyes, we're still heading northwest Sonora Freeway. Yeah. Uh, still northwest from Sonora Freeway. Yeah, we have both of them. Now westbound Sonora Freeway. Hey, Explorer, I'm going. I'm going faster than I can pass. Go, 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 go. We have real long eyes. Hey, to, just to confirm, they are spiked, right? Uh, we believe so. They swerved I back and forth repeatedly, so I'm assuming so. Repeat, hard south. Yeah, we're still westbound on Great Ocean now. We're in Polito Bay, southwestbound Great Ocean. Still have eyes. Hey, firm. Very long. Still southwest. Right, I'm taking this under so that we can get other vehicles out. Uh, who wants to take the hostage statement? Uh, good question. Honestly, I wasn't awake for most of. Still southwestbound Great Ocean. But right, I off. can yeah, take statements if need be. Okay. I'm gonna get out there quick then. I'm gonna head onto the highway and try and collect. Uh, the spike do you want me trip. to back you up? Yeah. Okay. All right, All right gentlemen. Uh... Oh, okay. Very long eyes, still southwest around Great Ocean. Yeah, get your own car. Here we go. We're at mile marker November. Still southwest around Great Ocean. Hostages are secure back at MRPD. Um, back out to uh, assist. People force still trying to catch up. Great Ocean Bentley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Other side of yeah, town. I'm uh, gonna look to Papa. set up a barricade. Passing by mile marker Papa. Uh, they're really far ahead. A local kind of soft. Do you want Four. me to lock up BCSO? Get it into the tunnel at mile marker Q. Visual contact broken, still looking. I'm at mile marker Yankee right now. We're at uh, Tango, but 
Any units, any units are coming up. behind to take the turn on uh, mile marker Sierra. Start searching through up. that area. That mile marker YOLO? We no longer have visuals, so they can be literally anywhere on this section of the road. That's four. Lieutenant, did they ever pass you? No. They cut up into the hills. Four, we can have some units set up, set up around, uh... <laughs> set up around Pinewood Hills. Uh, let's make sure we remove those spike strips. Uh, I'm on my way to do that now. Should have announced that first beforehand. I, yeah, I don't know how to properly announce a road closure. So we have civilians driving through. Front closing. Rear away. Major zero seven ten forty one. I don't know where they even got lost. Somewhere here. We have a uh, we have an RO for the uh, the hot case. All right. Uh, what's our perimeter looking like? Currently in Rockford Hills, trying to get over to Vinewood Hills. See if I can get any type of visual. Zero zero one and Sierra zero seven are in Wayne Vino Road, looking in the hills. Sierra zero four and four ten are in Senora Road, looking through there. All right, ten four. I'm gonna uh, head up the mountain between all of it. A firm. Just if you can't find yourself a partner. Um, okay. Chat, no, I, I don't. I didn't have enough time. I was expecting to go live like three hours prior before I actually did. All right, Kilo Zero Two. I'm in an Explorer in the mountain range now. I'm gonna look. We're approaching Bantam Canyon Drive. We're not seeing anything on our end over here. About to head into the Bondwood Hills area. I cannot pick up my spikes, any of the spike strips. Destroy them if you can't pick them up. 127 and 210 are in the Tongue Are you, are you attempting right to now. pick up the bike strips that you dropped? Yes. There's been issues lately with PD and uh, it's been a little annoying to pick up spike strips sometimes. You just don't want to. Yeah, I don't think uh, they go? risking my life or Cheddar's life is worth it. Uh, Kilo Zero Two, what was the last known location? They're heading... Uh, Fort Sancudo. Uh, last visual. The, yeah, on the, the freeway, Great Ocean, southbound. We lost them after that tunnel by Sancudo. Ten four. Tour back and forth, looked like they got spiked, but they still were able to hit above 130 since... Uh, since my charger was hitting 122, Yikes, and they were still that might need to be a then. How, like, if you get spiked, easily. like, what's the fucking point? If you can get spiked and still drive perfectly fine. I think they could have gone right here. That's a very good spot to hide is the vine, the vineyard. 
<clears throat> yeah, like how? What's the point of spiking if you could just uh, if you could still just drive? You know? They could go back to PDM. It's true. But my concern, like we had people everywhere and we didn't see them. So how, where did they go? You know, our perimeter was actually pretty good immediately. Like I was covering the southbound portion. And we didn't see him pass us. So that means they didn't take Sonora in. They could have taken through Vinewood though. And if they did that, that's perfect. They probably get away. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't understand how you can get spiked and then just be fine. Kilo zero one zero seven. We're gonna we're gonna get the explosion here. Like that doesn't make sense to me. Spikes should be more effective. Like I would say, I thought there was a GTA game in the past. Ooh, boy, I'm stuck here. I thought there was a GTA game in the past where if you got spiked and you went on your four. rims too long, your uh, car let's went. Let's put a bolo out for that plate. Uh, unlikely that they're probably gonna be, you know, dumb enough to use it again. Uh, unfortunate that we lost them there, but I really appreciate everyone, how everyone acted and how everyone set up. I think everyone did well regardless. And at the end of the day, these uh, fuckers are going to do something stupid again, and we're probably going to catch them. I'm just happy that we got the people out safely. 127, did anyone check on that orange vehicle? Dude, can I fucking cross this, like, a little bit? Like, how is my car not able to just go fucking right across, bro? Uh, that orange vehicle. Go! Right Thank you. Down. God, this is all... This is the only place I wanted to be, bro. 10 Yeah, the hostages were saved. And hey, uh, even though we it may seem defeated, I mean, we did save the lives of two people. That's pretty big. Absolutely. Zero seven kilo one, we're gonna be code two because uh, the Explorer only has uh, half its wheels done uh, a lot, so we're gonna be code two attempting to get this repaired. Well, yeah, I mean, spikes need to be more dangerous if uh, you just could take spikes to the face and then be fine with it, you know? Uh, I mean, all units, be on the lookout for uh, any of the individuals matching the description. One guy was wearing a gas mask with uh, whatever that kind of hat is called. I don't know, I just think in Canada. Yeah, it's still a win. Yep, the guy absolutely. wearing a red bandana For sure. uh, on his head and uh, on his face. If you see any individuals that look like that, uh, make sure to listen. Have you been able to uh, get rid of the spike strips? Uh, yeah, me and Pierce are picking them up. Yeah, I just looked through the vineyard. I don't see him. Alright, uh, Kilo 0 2, I'm just gonna go uh, 1019. 10-4. Kill 4 is 10 for gas. That scenario played out not the best that it could, but in in a, in a way that was that was fine, if that makes any sense, chat. We, we wanted that probably to play out better, where we could get the hostages and subdue everyone. That's like a fucking tall order. Um, yo, Gamer Mom, thank you for eight months! I love watching Bentley. He has grown so much since you first created him. Great content, my dude. But yeah, um, thank you so much, Gamer Mom. Thank you, K Quinn, by the way, for six months. Kaiser Rage, thank you for five months. Phoenix Knight, thank you for nine months. Sammy Blair, thank you for four months. Thank you, thank you, everyone. Yeah, I mean, again, that played out a, 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 in a net positive for us. Because really, we had a, there was a couple of ways that could have gone down, right? Delta 1, go ahead. The, uh, I saw that message about another vehicle left at the The most difficult scenario there would have been to get all of the hostages uh, safe yeah, and to capture everybody in the process. That would have been the most difficult thing to pull I off, am but would have been ideal. The, the next road, one would have been to actually better, subdue at least one of them or get our people higher. back. But, you know, I would say the third best uh, option was getting the hostages clear and then every trooper's safe, they get away. Uh, that you know? would be great, actually. I'm sure Tenor and I would love it. Okay, um... That would be... that. That's the other I scenario that was bike, good. You know what I mean? But, um... Squad car and then so at the end of the day, uh, I'm, I'm pretty okay That'll with work. how things went down. All right, as, as long as it's fine that I'm driving. A the worst case scenario would have been hostages being harmed, troopers going down, things like that. should be fine. I'll give you permission. 10 4, thank you very much. Small L is the probable loss here for the spikes. Uh, Yeah, probably. I mean, we'll pay for the damages. That's all they're entitled to, unless they were injured. 
The only thing they'd be entitled for is us to pay for uh, their... need to tow again. Their, ...to pay for their, uh, their damages. In fact, we Thank should probably you. do that. Uh, Keela02, can somebody get the name of the individual that uh, ran over the spike strips? I can give them a call and reimburse them for any damages. I, uh, we already you reimbursed them. Oh, good, good, good. money out of my pocket, yeah. All right, thank you. I, I didn't hear that. Thank you. No longer a lawsuit. Vehicles, we uh, gave them about $600 to fix their tires. We already paid for your damages. What more do you want? Emotional damage? Hunter's proposal looking pretty good right now. Uh, yeah, we, it's just, the role play around deciding it isn't, uh, isn't there at the moment. We talked about it a little bit, uh, off server. We need to talk about it in server. Um. We also have to talk about it with the judges, too. I mean, that's a, that's a whole process. It's not something we can just flip the switch on right now, you know what I mean? They know exactly how to beat us. Uh, here's the thing. That doesn't always play in their favor Careful every time, though. Spike strip, you have Garrison. to understand, in that I scenario... I knew they were there still. A, the bear cat wasn't in a great spot. Only I could fire on him. I was just being nice and warning B, you. I was still we did not have right. enough what additional units. What are you talking about for the spike strips? Every time I try to talk to you guys, the radio fucking pops off. Holy. Uh, I hit the northbound one. Okay, also, I can't do anything with them. Uh, Big uh, Atomic, listen, I understand the, the, doom, the Doomer up. opinion here. Uh, we have an SOP up. that says that if this continues to happen during the course of a day, <laughs> corrections will no longer be offered. Uh, we also could bar Arden from receiving those same services. So the fact that this happened is role-playing. We want this to happen. Because right now, it's unbelievably uninteractive to be caught ever by uh, the PD. If you get caught by the PD, you get processed by an in-game mechanic to Bolingbrook and you're fucked. We have now introduced role play around the idea of being transported, but that doesn't mean every time you get caught, you're going to be transported and can figure out a way out. We could easily determine that Arden uh, is too high. Of, uh, do you want to uh, ride along a trap, you right? This is too dangerous of a person to provide our own correction services for, and we could process him that way instead. I have no idea. Also, uh, he did, uh, I'm, I'll, I'll holy shit, I am over the fucking comms right now, dude. Um, also, in that same scenario, we had units, we didn't have, first of all, we didn't have an interceptor available. Second of all, uh, we got caught in a really good spot to be able to, um, to, to, to like, stop them, but spikes weren't good enough. So if spikes are better overall, they don't, they probably don't get away there. B, we didn't have air one. Uh, I didn't get the Bearcat in a good position to shoot their tires, which is what I was trying to do, but, like, that's a difficult shot to hit. Um, Clear. Closing. There's a lot that went wrong there, but I still think the process itself was fine, if that makes sense. Because, again, no troopers went down, the hostages were safe. Yeah, they got Arden and whatever now. Those, they didn't serve any time, dude. So the next time we catch Arden, he gets to backpedal his old crimes and the crimes that he, he just committed. So. I think the next time that happens, they're going to have to continue to be very prepared for those scenarios. Those guys were prepared. We were prepared, too. They just happened to get out um, on the other side perfectly fine. And that's, I mean, some of that has to do with the fact that, A, we didn't have an interceptor, we didn't have Air One, uh, B, the spike strips were not good enough. <laughs> if you could still hit 130, 140 and perfectly manage your vehicle with spikes deployed and your your tire's gone, like, that's, that's tough, right? Um, but yes, at the end of the day, we, as a server internal team, but also as the PD, want that role play. Because, again, before, Arden would get caught and we would move him into the cells and then we would press slash jail, you know, nine, 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 nine. And guess what? You're fucked. See you later, bud. Enjoy pill or enjoy Bolingbrook. There's no role play after that. So I would tell you that even though the PD, they got away, that was a huge dub for role play. That was exactly what we wanted in terms of just role play in general.
Uh, take the L in the yeah, lawsuit? No, that. no, that's bad. Because not only would they be able to walk free, here's a couple of things. If we light them up there, uh, um, there's a couple of things that happen. Uh, a, we incite a war on the PD. First, so and we're already not right. winning gunfights. Uh, but I can add you know what I mean? I command, uh, so, and you about like, now, we shoot them there and do whatever, we get shot at constantly after, after that. So every action has a consequence, uh, right? B, we take a fat L on the lawsuit. Uh, and Arden gets to walk free and is absolved of his crimes, you know. And then C, that sets a precedent that every time that you're ever involved with the PD in a hostage scenario, it just starts shooting him. And we're already getting rolled as it is, so. Also, uh, we cannot willfully break the law as the police. That's a very good way to get completely disbanded and get barred from doing police work. That's why cops face real jail time. But yeah, so no, no, that was not an option. Of, uh... Hey, uh, good, uh, good work out there, everyone. By the way. Uh, thank you. It's unfortunate that we could not catch them. Thank you. Uh, but I think it was a half decent plan. Situations like that are very uh, rare. So it's one thousand. It's just hard to deal with. Plus. So it is. I think we. I okay. So here's the deal, right? So I obviously, ideally, what we would have wanted there is to get the hostages free of uh, and and safe, and then be able to at least gain a suspect back, if not more. But at the end of the day, here's here's what you have to think of, right? No officers were harmed, and we got the hostages out. Absolutely. So I don't know. I mean, yeah, it could have gone better, but fuck, it could have gone worse. Yeah. Well, uh, two things. Uh, the one thing is, you know, what I said over the radio. These guys have a habit of making themselves like aggressively known, like obnoxiously known, like it, an elephant in the room that you cannot ignore. So they're gonna turn up eventually, for one thing. I'm about. And then to we'll just hit them with we'll hit them with all the charges that we're about to compile uh, at that point when we eventually catch them. And then on another note, uh, there was a radio frequency that an anonymous tip gave us uh, that was suggested to be used uh, at the time. But uh, due to some concerns that I had, uh, we didn't use it. But those concerns have been quelled. Uh, I believe the frequency was 723. So if anyone wants to check in, maybe we can hear if they're, they're talking right now. Hey, Major Crime. And That's a good major major during situation. that, they were 100% on it. I'm yeah. about to I'm about to three one one the bolo for the high cade. The registered owner of this high cade is a one Max Sterling. Okay, is it Max Sterling? That one is of those, the bolo. Uh, diamond dog dudes or whatever. Let's get a yeah. warrant out for him. Yep. yep. Agreed. Yeah, I mean, this sounds like a major crimes thing to sit on that frequency and you know see what we can figure out. And then I'm also we very, call stars, we very, call stars. very. Yeah, I'm also yeah. very, very adamant that from this point forward, regardless of coverage, I'm requesting that it'd be a okay to partner up with someone regardless of coverage from this point forward because after the events of the day I, I think it's just it's just ridiculous that we have to wait for a certain amount of people just so we could partner up uh, at this point it's ridiculous. yeah uh, I mean I, I can't really drive so I can stay on the frequency and relay they're quiet at the moment so okay. gotcha that may change um Dallas that's a good that's a good note we'll we'll talk about it um, yep. I'm not against that. I've always, I mean, ever since I was like first a corporal, North I've always wanted partners to be the norm, bike. not the exception. You know, but, the yeah. exception would be solo, but Echo, um, we'll, Alpha, with it. we'll have to talk about it. One, zero, always having someone there to back you up. Whiskey, I'm down with it. Oh, yeah. yeah, you can respond six. to anything with one car essentially if you have two. Yeah, I mean, I know a lot of people get call hungry, so if they uh, are partnered up, we don't got to worry about too many units at a scene. Exactly. It's one car, is one unit, so. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna go eat because I'm hungry. Echo, yeah. But yeah, Alpha, no, that works. Works. Vance, One, your hostage zero, negotiation there was absolutely hotel, incredible as well. Whiskey. Thank Zeta, you. Zeta, six. I tried to not let them push us around too much there. Uh, I was trying to stall as much as I could. And it did well. Uh, while also That's trying true. to communicate. Oh. Uh, I think I think what we could have done better there. Well, honestly, next time Affirm this is kind of this may be a very uh, very blunt. Uh, suggestion next time. I think we just all dump our magazines into the car. I'm gonna be honest. We I got mean, the hostages. That's what I did. The Fuck second them. I saw him start driving, I started dumping into him. Yeah, I was like, I'm gonna just, ch I'm gonna chase him. I hope they hit the spikes. Uh, next time, I'm gonna just throw everything at him because those kind of escapes, man, they know what they're in for. Right. I want to point they out. They know what they're in for. I want to point out that our explorer was only spiked because that high cade has more mass than it, and it pushed us into them. That's ridiculous. That's just as I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest. I my brain turned off, and I heard the spikes from the left side, 
and I like fucking Tokyo drifted through him. That was weird. I didn't get hit. I drove straight through that shit. I'm actually stupid. Another thing uh, is, but I just, and this is going to be weird too, and consider this as interceptor stuff. I mean, having an interceptor with us there might have helped too. Yeah, absolutely. We were just kind of stuck. Yeah, because no, uh, for sure. Yeah, that was a that was a definite oversight that we had too kind of too many people there. I want to make sure we were locked down. But then it kind of turned into this awkward situation where we needed people to, uh, outside of it because it was kind of, we were kind of at a choke point there, right? And all of us were in the choke point, so it was yeah. kind of awkward. And if any of us pulled off, they might shoot. Oh, exactly. Yeah. But anyway, I, I thought man, the way we we, based on what we had in that moment and the decision making that we could make at that time, I thought it went as good as it can, if not better. Mm -hmm. So I mean, honestly, work, I'm not too upset. We got a little bit of a trail to follow. And uh, I think we'll get them next time. Agreed. All right. Uh, uh, we got plenty of rounds, so if anybody wants to partner up, do it. Um, and, yeah, I mean, let's get back out there and see what we can do. We're cuddling uh, after Tsunami, right? There's. I point. plan on bringing something up at the cuddle or the huddle uh, regarding another alternative we could have done there. I'm not saying it's the right move, but I want people to be proficient in it. It's going to be something that uh, STARS test on, but what I want to worry about in this case is a coordinated takedowns. Oh, yeah. Well, I we want needed, as many yeah. people we had too many in troopers as possible. You line that. up a headshot on both of those, and one bullet, you take them both down, secure the hostages. Mm -hmm. Them four. Yeah, we could. I'm with it if we that. can coordinate it and figure it out first. Yeah, we right there, we were out. discussing it at the scene, but I did not feel comfortable. Uh, yeah, I think if we just me and Trappy up them, front. That might have. That might have. If they saw us pulling guns on them, that might have. De yeah, 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 they're saying, loose they're there. saying sudden movements. Uh, next time, I'm just having my gun aimed the whole time because I mean that's what they did. Right. They had their yeah. guns trained, so why wouldn't I have my gun trained? Like, like I said, but in that I didn't situation, want to risk... in that situation, uh, it wasn't the best that, move. But seven, if we come out and keep seven, our guns drawn the entire time, eight. that's an option on the table. In that case, because we put our guns down, Absolutely. as soon as we pull them up, they're gonna blast. Yeah. Well, it's also Absolutely. good to know that um, pretty much every trooper that was responding was in the middle of that. We didn't have any, yeah. except for when Pierce arrived. We didn't really have any support. Pierce outside. came and saved the day. Right. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, but that's the Thank thing, God. right? So we had everyone. Yeah, we kind of bought, we kind of put too many people in there. Agreed. I, it was an oversight on my part. I didn't realize that was everyone we had. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, that's okay. And then uh, for corrections, and frankly, um, yeah, maybe I need to change change the language in our SOP. We should only have two in the in the in the Bearcat as well. Gotcha. We had yeah, we had three. So I was like one more unit that could have been uh, on been somewhere or... else. Yeah. Yeah. Could have been on a hill, you know. Hey man, we learned know. from our mistakes. I don't think. Yeah, uh, yeah. I think it could have gone a lot worse. It could have ended in a, oh, in a shootout yes. immediately. I think we it was kind of. It was not the best case. Those are, I'm pretty sure those are definitely admins, wasn't the worst the one. I mean, they have to be. So right? I'm I'm gonna be sleeping fine tonight. But yes, fully agreed. I I will also add, uh, people. The Felix, the pharmacist from Pillbox, brought anti-anxiety medication. He would like people to use those and let us know how effective they are. So if you're about to go on a chase, pop them at the very beginning and uh, keep track of when you actually start getting stressed out while you're driving again. Mm -hmm. Pop the pills, right. that sounds fine to me. You should. <clears throat> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, they'll all have warrants, uh, just like in the past with situations that PD has lost, or at least that I've seen. They'll eventually slip up and yep. let their guard down, and that's when we'll strike. We will catch right. them, and we will nail their hides to the door. Yep. It just doesn't yeah, have to right. be aggressive. Uh, we Gonzalez, can be let's happy. go make a fucking timeline of events. Let's because go make guys a don't know, that was, Yeah. That was uh, yeah. one, like, three-hour situation. That was not, yeah. like, separate situations. It was one big thing. Hey, yeah. really cool. hours. fucking proud of you guys. That's good shit, man. It's good. Yes. Yes. Everyone right, did great. You guys did uh, really someone good. Someone please distress the poor dog. Yeah, the oh. poor <laughs> dog. Right, come on. Come do on, I give the dog pills? What would I do? Probably not. Gonzalez, what am I? What are my notes for the small amount of FTL time? Holy fuck! Someone shoot the shotty. I kind of want to actually discharge a couple of uh, rounds of my AR. Uh, kill zero two. Uh, ignore shots at MRPD. I'm gonna work on the AR. Seven four. Shotguns OP. I don't like the non-precision of the shotgun. I've seen the I've seen the spread of the shotty. Like the reason I took the AR in this scenario is because I wanted the precision. You know what I mean? All right. So this is how I shoot, chat. Just so you guys are aware. So, I try to find where my tracer bullet is, right? Basically, where am I aiming, right? 
So I know for a fact that usually when Bentley aims, it's not like this. That That's not where I'm going to hit. Like, if I'm aiming at the target right in front of me, this isn't it, right? This is way far to the right. You have to almost draw an invisible line in front of you, right? So, like, right... Okay, tracer bullet, that means that's where my aim is. So my eyes now are trained on that bullet spot. So I know that if I move here... Headshot. And that's the thing, you don't fire like that, you fire like this. You don't press and hold. If I press and hold, I'm gonna spray all over the place, right? But if I stagger fire... It's pretty good. That's how I shoot. For those of you that are curious. I shoot with a tracer shot and then the follow-up. Like your first shot, like just you have to pay pay a lot of attention to what your your first shot or first two shots are. Like you need to like be be okay with shot, wait, wait, wait shot, 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 shot. You know what I mean? Be okay with it. My carbine's almost out. Uh what do you need? Shotties? Yeah. Uh okay. Are we gonna? Did you see that three one one? Seventy six at the billboard. Two ten gonna be in route two. I think that was P PDM. They were dropped off at PDM. One of them was from pillbox. Hear that? Yeah, I do. Let's go. All right, we're all going to PDM. We're gonna be guns. We're gonna be guns out. Jen grabbing his charger, Ace, are you still 1019? Uh, hold on, Vance, I'm riding with you. Four. Major 7226 en route to the PD as well. Alright, so only three units to show. Everyone else be in the area ready to go. Three units showing. Four ten will be in the area. Yeah, those in the area only Approach swoop in one. when things get get messy. We don't show right away. Approach code one. Six zero four is gonna be approaching from the west side. Yeah, they do wear out fast. Zero four is gonna be four approaching from the north or south end. Pierce, I'm with you. Hold up. All right, let's go. Major 07 yeah, and 226 are coming up. Did they say where the uh, location was and it gets a look? Medium. Alright. Just one guy on a BMX bike. I'll probably just stay, uh, I'm thinking the ammunition is close by enough, but just in case it hits the fan. Below 4, there is a stratum inside the back of PDM. Unsure if it's occupied or not. 127 and 210 are on Vespucci. Actually, no, 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 no. Yeah. Just in case they decide to dip, there's I'll be a, ready on this side. Yeah, there's also a roof up here, too. The only thing I'm worried about the roof, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, is just if they do flee and we're on the roof, oh, it yeah, kind of just like takes a sec to get yeah. down, yeah. The, so, it, yeah, it depends on how we want to respond. Do we want to be available for a chase or do we want to be available to back up a gunfight? Although I don't know if that gun, go grab roof yes, in and ammunition actually overlooks PDM very well. Uh, we can go see for a sec. Yeah, Why not? Let's do it. No, guns. not like pretty much not at all. Never mind. All right. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. It was good looking though. At least we wanted to see. Yeah, for sure. Honestly, at least if we're down here, whether it's a shootout or a chase, we're in the area, so I can just quickly. Yeah, and uh, I can turn shoot around. from uh, from the passenger yeah. here. Looks like a female individual. Who's our primary in there? Something. Vance. All right, ten four. Thank you. Yeah, so this vehicle's plated. It's locked. Or the registration doesn't come back to anyone. That's suspicious. Uh, plate will be plate will read Echo two one three, Major two nine uh, nine two zero. They may be heading to Casa. I just bolted it. Cool. 
I was just about to we do that. Closing. Interesting. I might be driving with a fake plate, so this might be the vehicle. Got a bike that uh, just came up Adam's apple. Put units stay back here at PDM. Um, turn my uh, head to stop here. Seven are gonna head to Casa. Uh, and they they would see him now. Yeah. Sure, we look like we're just on regular patrol. Okay, looks like they broke off. Uh, the bike that pulled up on scene is registered to Hideki. I thought Hideki's Yakuza, right? Warren's Valkyrie. Why are Dal Why are Diamond Dogs? I mean, they, are they buddies again? Or I guess I mean he has every right to go to PDM, I suppose. Lights. Um, I mean, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and turn off your lights. Yeah, I'm just gonna go around. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. patrol around because yep, I don't want to just stand there. If we are gonna stand somewhere, we should be out of out of sight. Um, yeah. The innocence yeah. Route going behind Casa. Route. How do we? What? Route to PDM. Who did? Zero seven two two six have eyes on PDM. I wonder if from that's the uh, from the um, from, from the radio. Possibly. Let's try to get out of sight as much as we can. Uh, let's, I'm gonna go up in the fucking parking garage, and then that way they can't even see us. And then worst comes to worst, let's just get down. Yeah, ten four, good idea. Yeah, angle it so we can get down There's that ramp. There's a lot of units here. Make sure you're staying out of sight. Right there, and then I can just turn down. Good idea. Kill zero two and four ten. We are uh, above the ammunition. I think Lawson was like sitting. Like what? some weird vantage point, watching PDM. Yes. No. Uh, the other day, I was when he was doing like a stakeout. So if one unit wants to do that, <laughs> so we don't have too many units in so the all area. All you do is walk up to him and just you pull it off the wall. I know, but it's cold. <laughs> right now, a lot. We have like three cars nearby. Four, ten, uh, can go do it. You, what's your call sign? I forget. Uh, kill zero two. And Kayla zero two. It's up to you, but I figured at least I don't want to crowd up. It's already fifteen units. I'm just gonna be chilling at low power. Uh, this is fine. Um, I think we're in a good spot. Uh, there is a sports car with a large spoiler. Who is on the highway? That seems that super obvious. Us in the direction like, do you see behind uh, us? That I guess maybe yeah. they can't see it from the ground, but I mean, I can clearly see there. There. I I wouldn't know because they might be paranoid and be looking at the same time. Zone Possibly. I don't know if that's the greatest spot. Yeah, I don't know. Please. <laughs> okay. Alright, another week. Uh, hey, buddy, I'm already going right. slow in. Okay. Too bad. Welcome to full time, babe. It's been a while. <laughs> Two ten one two seven. We're gonna be down by Adams Apple Boulevard. What the fuck? Okay. Yeah, we can't just send units everywhere. Unit, um, slowly, slowly make their way towards Mirror Park. Just to see if someone like hanging out somewhere there. Yeah, don't show though. We don't want them to know our intel on them is compromised. Yeah, A firm. Ten four. Uh, two two five will take it from the mountainside then behind Mirror Park. Affirmative, yeah. Good idea. Uh, Bentley with Cecil? Yeah, I think I did one with Cecil. I wonder how Bo's getting this info. I think she has the frequency that they were on. Oh, yeah. And I don't think they realize that we have it. A way to figure out what property that is? Oh, God. I don't even remotely know how we figured that out. I think you'd have uh... to call the real estate company or something. Yeah, we would likely need a warrant from the from the judge to do it. We could like wait outside and set up a perimeter, but that's about it. Because we can't really breach unless we have the warrant. I don't know how long it takes to get a warrant. I don't know if you've ever done that before. Yeah, the issue with getting a warrant, um, which is it's possible, we could do it, um, is that we would have to subpoena the housing, you know, whatever to figure out what house he lives in. 
and then mm -hmm. get a warrant to breach it. So that's a multi it's, it's, a, it's a multi step process. It's not like a thing we can do in 20 minutes where no. Because by the time we get it done, he he won't be there. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, this is why we got to work on, and I'm hoping major crimes can help us. Is that you know we need to be able to identify these situations quickly and have the paperwork ready to go, so that like right now we could already be like, hey, person at the housing commission, we need a house. Okay, judge, here's the paperwork. All right, we're doing it. Cool. Thanks. Bye. And then we breach. Yeah. Right. But as of right now, we don't even know how to get a hold of the housing, so we'd have to figure that out first. And yeah. Have you guys done a lot of warrants before? Like, is that something that you guys have done or not? I'm aware of one warrant that we've actually done with the judge before. Um, and it was on this guy named Tony Bicelli uh, that used to run a uh, bar on the very uh, north side of town. Uh, and uh, there was a big raid on his location uh, thanks units, to a, a uh, Lieutenant, uh, warrant. I think we should call this off seeing as the storm isn't coming in about 15 minutes. 10-4, uh, hey, uh, we can just keep eyes and tabs on him for the rest of the night as well, uh, even if we don't get him right here right now. So let's keep the intel going. Affirmative or All right, or we, we can get out of here. Discuss all yeah. this during the cuddle. All right, so everybody, if you can then 10 on 10 and keep it to 10 on 10. I mean, I would be interested in looking in it just to see, but I think standardizing like a warrant and subpoena process would be really cool for PD instead of like us having to wait. So that way, if we need something, it's like ready to go, you know? Exactly. Yeah, I, I don't I don't disagree. I'll be honest with you. We haven't had much need for it. Um, so, huh? you know, when you don't have need, you don't do it, right? So, yeah, um, yeah no, very, very thoughtful of you. I'll see what I can look into, but I don't know, at the current state. I, I might ask the judge. Yeah, I think uh, this is something good. I, I want to pass along to Belle with major crimes. I think uh, if she can establish a rapport, that would be a good start. No, I'm kidding. I know. This where it comes first. Jesus Christ, is this interceptor a mobile or or what? What's going on with this? Yeah, it's been broken all day. Earlier. We, that, that, one's on me. that one's, that one's on me. There was, a, there was a mobile shootout. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, I mean, it's not safe to drive right now. I can throw tires on her so that we can get her somewhere. If we can put tires on it and we can uh, get it fixed directly after Tsunami, I'm down yeah. for it. Yeah, all right. Let me, uh, I'll be right back. Let me work on it. Page 07226, Uh, Madmaster, we are getting a... Uh, never mind. I don't know if I can talk about it. <laughs> JK, 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 JK. <laughs> uh... The MGT in its current state, no. JK, 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 JK. I haven't gotten in trouble for the things I've told you guys yet, and I want to keep it that way. I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes I get told stuff that, like, gets told to people that are outside internal, and I'm like, Ooh, you know? Um, oh, yeah, that's right. Bentley doesn't show his neck anymore. Forgot about it. But yeah, sometimes like internal team will get notified of something and then we'll be like, it'll like, we'll, we'll be able to talk about it outside of it. But then there are certain things that get told to us that aren't told to be, but like, I'm pretty sure all of it is. Like, I'm pretty sure that unless like a server owner is like, yeah, we could share this. I'm pretty sure everything that I know is supposed to be confidential. Now, there are certain things that have been discussed in character. Nothing in character is confidential, right? Duh. Because um, you could just literally watch a stream. I'm going to grab the bear cat out and do this move. You know what I mean? But, like, there are stuff behind the scenes that I know that I can't say. And I haven't been in trouble yet. But that doesn't mean I will never get in trouble. So, got to be careful. Um, I need to actually drive this thing around. Just, just so you guys are aware, though, the one thing I will say as a member of the internal team, uh, you guys have no idea how much shit is being worked on. It is absolutely insane. Like, there is so much. I'm telling what you what. What did you do? I didn't do shit. 
You got this for me, huh? Ooh. No, it's been broken here all day. I'm just replacing the tires so we can safely drive it to a repair shop after tsunami. Fair enough. My moose thing. But like, yeah, M. Meister, who is also a member of Internal, shout outs to Internal so. buddies. Um. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we there is so much I'll shit. Take care of this. Like we have a very singular perspective chat on PD stuff, and I talk about some PD stuff because there's in character reason to to know about it and talk about it. But like, oh my god, there is so much that can be worked on and is being worked on. Like I get to see a lot of it, and I like have sat in on some of their meetings. Oh my god. There's stuff that you and I chat will never see as Bentley that I'm like, oh my god about, you know? The server will succeed. You have to understand, you know how populated our server is right now, and yet we've never, like, promoted ourselves anywhere? Like, we're pure word of mouth. A lot of people came from Wade. That was a really good person to play on our server for a bit. Um, and they're, you know, like, you know, the squad has a good following. Again, Wade came over, Dota Doyo came over for a bit. Um, you know, now we don't we don't really have heavy influencers, right? Like, I'm the biggest streamer that plays on the platform now. As a result of Wade, purely, by the way. <laughs> um, but that doesn't mean it can't happen. I'm telling you what, we could see an influx of streamers coming in. Like, it may not just be, you know, Dan, myself, LPG, uh, Franketh, like... There, there could be some people even, like, bigger than me coming in. Oh, yeah, Vic has actually admitted that being on his cop has helped him understand what we need more. Hey, yeah, I heard Bob played it for a little bit. Uh, they probably got spiked in only hey. one tire. Uh, that interceptor's oh. tire is fixed. It can be driven to a repair shop now. Wee! All right, I'll repair it as soon as tsunami's over. Noise. After cuddle. Yeah. Honestly, we should I forgot that Bentley doesn't show his neck anymore because his neck is like partially mutilated thanks to, to um, the all the there. like violence he's been a part of. What the fuck? Why didn't we airlift them? Oh my god. Oh. Pretty much. Uh, let me make sure it's longer. Hey. Oh, what the fuck is all this? Hey, I saw you at the funeral car. If you need anything, uh, you can text me. Yeah. I'll be honest with you. Thank you. See? Appreciate the kind words. Wait, yeah, it's. Wait, hold on. What? Sad seeing the numbers go down? That was a cool take. Uh, yeah, I don't want to, like, say anything, because, like, I, I, like, respect the fuck out of Markiplier and shit, but, like, yeah, I don't... He would probably go back to no pixel. I think Markiplier in our server would break it. And I'm not kidding. Like, hey, Markiplier, if you see this for some fucking reason, like, shit, fucking interact with... Like, go to Wade, obviously. Wade's your friend. You don't even know me. Uh, but if you need someone to, like, talk to you about TSRP, let me know. But, like... Chat, you guys saw what happened when the the PP pee -pee boys were prominent, and the PP pee -pee boys were prominent on the server because of Wade's influence on the server, right? Like you guys saw that, and like it made great role play. You, you don't don't get me wrong, but like, the entire server flocked to it, and that was just Wade. And Wade's a great guy. Imagine what this what would happen to our server if Markiplier started not only playing on it but doing content around it. You know, but that being said, I, I mean, I'm, I'm fucking down for big streamers coming in. But, uh, I mean, you're talking about one of the biggest ever. So, just something to think, keep in mind. Oh, 
Bing commander. Howdy. I, I, I don't know how much you heard during all that when Vance was doing his thing, but he was fucking killing it, man. Yeah, I was uh, listening in as best I could, and I was on frequency 723 listening to them as well. They were they knew of our spike strips ahead of time. I think that orange car we saw was scouting for him, so oh, it, it was okay. uh, pretty DOA. I was telling Gonzalez trying to get him to radio it along, but I don't know if he had time to slip it out on radio. He did. Yep, we were aware that they knew. All right. If yeah, any of the I, no, officers you, that laid down spike our server would fall apart. The I would think that someone that come. influential. Uh, like, I would like to I, speak to you after tsunami before the cuddle. Um, what? downstairs uh, in the side lobby i'm saying markiplier would be great i've seen markiplier roleplay he'd be fucking great at it right and i'm not talking about markiplier himself i'm talking about the people that would flock to it we would see our server go from 80 to 90 people to max capacity with long waiting lists and that's like that kind of growth uh, would be probably really bad. I think TSRP, we have a great opportunity to grow as a predominant RO play server. Once we're like out of alpha, we have everything in place. We have the structure in place. Like we have role play integrity that I don't see very often in other servers. And we have really good role players and we have a really good emphasis on story arcs and stuff. Um, so I think what would benefit us is a meticulous and slow growth, right? So where you start seeing instead of like 90 average, which is where we're kind of at now, to like 100, and then 105, and then 107. Um, no pixel somewhat, yeah. You don't have to pay a dime to get into no pixel if you don't want to. You play on public, get noticed, you get whitelisted, right? Uh, I got invited to apply. Um, apply, got whitelisted. But here's the thing, once you get whitelisted, that's like half the battle. The other half is just getting into the server. Like, I don't play white, I don't play no pixel on my off days anymore because like I've tried probably seven or eight times to make content around no pixel and I got in twice. So I have like, I'm on whitelist no priority. So it's like, good luck, you know? That and when I got in, like, it's just, you know, once you make it, you make it, dude. <laughs> like, I feel like I didn't, I couldn't interact with any cops, dude. And I just, I would, that, the only reason I would ever want to play on no pixel is to become a cop. So no, I, uh, I think TSRP can meticulously grow. And the 100 plus average, I mean, what, that went away pretty much when some of the influencers went away, you know? And we're still sitting at like 80, 90 average, right? Like our unique users daily is in the hundred, it's in the couple hundreds. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, and then just wait till we advertise it. You know what I mean? Wait till we advertise it. We don't advertise the server at all. There's no Reddit posts anywhere. There's no, we're not doing anything. It's just pure word of mouth. And, like, I'm the biggest content creator here. Like, and I built through TSRP, so most of my viewership isn't like, oh, we watched Buffalo Prime because of his whatever content, now we're watching him RP, and now I want to RP, and a lot of you guys came in through me, too, or sure. But, you know, I built up through TSRP, so a lot of you guys are already in it. I do miss Thundershot as well, yeah. I talk to T-Shot a good amount still. Like about a lot of the cop things going on. Uh, Thundershot's funny too because he's just like, yeah, the PD's great, but like I didn't know what I was fucking doing. <laughs> and I was like, I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing. I just know it might be fun. Everything that I ever do, outside of character for the PD, I'm just like, this would be fun. Like that's all I care about. Let's just have fucking fun, bro. I'm sorry, Staria. Yeah, I mean, I'm telling you what, chat. 
I, I say this all the time. GTA roleplay is not like any other type of roleplay, man. It is difficult. It is stressful. It is very immersive. Like, it's, like, dangerously immersive. The only way that I could imagine roleplay being more immersive is if you got into a very high-stress VR-based roleplay, which I don't even know if anything like that exists right now, where, like, you can get, like, it's, like, this roleplay isn't just, like, tee-hee-hee-ha-ha, giggle-giggle roleplay, right? Like, GTA roleplay is intense, Like one day it could be giggle, ha ha, TT, and the next day your friend died. And the next day you get taken hostage. And the next day you get caught in a gunfight. The next day you accidentally pissed off the wrong people and they come after you. And the next day it's tee hee, ha ha, giggle, giggle. And the next day you realize that, hey, you know what? Um, maybe robbing banks is the best way to make money. And then the next day, you know, you get hired on a new business. And the next day you get shadow recruited into an organization. And then the next day it's tee hee, ha ha, giggle, giggle. And then the next day, the fucking admins, and no, not the admins, the internal team adds a brand new mechanic that everyone wants to do. I'm telling you what, this shit is crazy. It is not like any other type of roleplay I've ever done. It is by far the hardest, and yet at the same time, the most satisfying and rewarding roleplay I've ever done, ever, is T GTA roleplay. Oh, I need a kitty cat. I need a kitty cat. Oh my god, look at you. Look at you. Holy shit, you're so fucking cute. Oh, you're orange, too. It's like one of my favorite colors. A little fat cat, too, aren't you? A little chupster or whatever. Look at this fat. Look at him fat. Oh my god, you're so fat. <laughs> you're so cute. Oh yeah, what's my number, chat? Okay. Fatty, fat, fat, fatty, fat. Oh my gosh, you're such a little chunkster. 15, by the way. All right, kill zero two all units. Uh, we will be doing a cop huddle upstairs in a moment. Oh, when do we get a cat? Hey, you want to talk about the spike strip? No idea. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna get some food. But yeah, anyway. We're just trying to make the server better, man. And I've told you guys, I have exit plans in place. Like, I, I, as a member of internal team, again, whatever I say on stream it has nothing to do with me as an admin, right? Exclamation point admin. Um, but, I mean, there was a period of time where it was, like, on the on the, on the the end tail of, of uh, the PP pee -pee boys. And when I was, like, kind of playing Bentley and kind of playing Cerberus and kind of playing Chad... And it was right around the time I was trying out no pixel whitelist that I was like, you know, what do I do? Like, do I do I hop over to whitelist? And and I would tell you if my no pixel experience was a little bit better, which it wasn't bad, but if it was a little bit better, you know, who knows? But there was a time when I was like, Ooh, I don't know, maybe we gotta consider shifting. But uh, this server, time and time again, has shown me how much people care about it. Oh my god, he did not just dab. Like, the amount of people and the amount of love that's poured into the server, the people that are in it, the fact that we are, and I, people are going to disagree with this, and that's great, whatever. Like, we are one of the, I think, most welcoming and safe servers to be on. And it's, um, it's, it's still fucking, it's still Crime City Roleplay, man. You know, like you could still get held at gunpoint. You could still get stabbed. Like it's still crime city role play in, at the end of the day. But we are so unbelievably welcoming of all types of people on the server. And we care so much about role play. Um, in a way that a lot of other servers don't that, I mean, like, that's why I, I haven't left TSRP is because my characters of, <laughs> I made immersive stories and I like see how much the owners of this server still care like t and Balvin they give a shit still they give a big shit um but I you know again I, I don't know the future I can't predict it I will tell you that I'm gonna work my ass off as both a content creator and an admin to make TSRP the best that it can be I will promote the shit out of the server when I'm allowed to do so in a certain way I'm allowed to do so that's up to the owners 
Um, and I have a backup plan, right? I have no no pixel whitelist. I don't. I'm I'm on the whitelist. Like I'm good. And I new day roleplay and uh, redline roleplay have both accepted me. So at the end of the day, like you know, there's other servers I can play on if I need to. But there's a reason that I got whitelist, tried it out a few times, and then on my off days I don't do no pixel whitelist. On my off days I do other content. Uh, it's because uh, I don't really want to put any effort anywhere else but here right now. I'm sorry. We'll get him, so. Diaz. Yeah. Oh my god, look at the fat cat. Yeah, I have Get a Cheddar. Cheddar has been uh, with yeah, me the whole time. Oh, I got fat. Cheddar has been with me the whole time. Oh my god. Cat's a trooper. Oh my god, your purring is so fucking loud. Oh my god, so cute. Right? What? Do we have a cop cat? You got a what? Dispatch cat. Yeah, you got a fucking problem with that? Oh. <laughs> Cheddar uh, just came today. Drink of the animals. Do you drive a hippie van in your spare time? Out of curiosity. It's not an does. offensive I've question. Shut the fuck up, by the Yeah, way. I would tell you, yeah, I get more luck in midday, Kira, which is actually. And here's the problem I, I have a fucking day job. Um, if uh, I didn't have a day job, I would actually hard commit to midday TSR or no pixel. The fact that that's like where all of the cops that I've watched in my life uh, operate is the midday no pixel. I would do that in a heartbeat. Permission to taste Garrison. But here's the thing though. Denied. It's I don't know why you need all the stressors that we have really in TSRP <laughs> are infinitely like, magnified in no pixel. Uh, I'm kicking you out. So you think, guy, yeah. like, you think the stress what? that That's, you think the stress I'm that we right have head. in no or in TSRP cops? Like I saw a Twitter thread where a cop player got threatened in real life by a criminal player on no pixel. Like those no pixel cops get are getting fucking rolled dude like it's bad shit that like we would we would jump in in tsrp and and that stop you can't talk shit no pixel is way crazier man but that's the thing they're always busy it's crazier it's good role play it's Apparently, good content it wait, they're gonna stay we'll wait quiet. about two minutes but i mean i remember trooper snow just starts. recently was like i don't even know if i want to do this anymore and like trooper snow is like probably one of the best cop role players i've ever seen So yeah, as much as I would, I would absolutely kill to be a no pixel cop. Ooh, God, I don't know. I'm okay where I'm at right now. I'm very, I'm very comfortable. You know what I mean? And I'm not trying to be conceited at all. You know what I mean? But, dude, if, if, oh, if pulling trooper snow, in TSI. But here's the thing, like I, I'm, I'm telling you right now. I don't think a no pixel like standard, like fucking, that would be sick. I would love it if snow came to us. But uh. A standard no pixel cop. I'm not even referencing snow. I'm talking about any cop that plays a no pixel uh, would be. I do not know how well they would be received in TSRP's cops. Uh, because they are mean. <laughs> just a little bit. We have a little bit of a hug box in TSRP cops. Like we all get along really well. We're really respectful. The cops and no pixels are like, hey, fuck you. You're a fucking pussy bitch. Like they. <laughs> they're not as nice like snow would come up to you and be like hey listen here motherfucker like you were you were such a little pussy back then on that fucking like fleeka like you need to grow a pair of fucking balls and stop being a little bitch when you're talking to the criminals they're gonna fuck you up every time and if you aren't gonna get your finger out of your butthole about it then you're never gonna go anywhere like that's that's what snow would do I, those guys uh. That's uh, that's not really our culture. All right, so it's about ten minutes past the hour. You know what I mean? Let's go ahead and get started with this uh, cop huddle Sunday of this week. Last one before we uh, all get to take a nice weekend off and get some well-deserved rest. Okay, so a few things to go over. One, there was a situation a few minutes ago, right before the inclement weather came out, came in, where we were transporting two suspects. Two, several other people came and held two hostages at gunpoint and I would love it. demanded we that we release the suspects PD, in exchange it. for the release of those hostages. We did very good. We 
got the hostages safe and sound, which is what matters. Nobody was harmed in it. The suspects are at large. That and those suspects are Rob Muratori and Arden Long. Kyle so Prince we're gonna go though. ahead and update the he's such uh, a good role player. make sure those two still have active warrants. Because he's flawed and it's that great. those warrants are going for thirty days. I don't give a shit. We are keeping those going for the maximum extensions that we can. They have evaded custody at this point. We are getting them back. I'm patient. I can wait. We will get them. They will make mistakes. Make no mistake about that. But that being said, good job on all of our units. It was a very tense situation. One wrong move, and that could have gone south very quickly. So everybody here, everyone who was there, great fucking work. Related to this incident and moving forward, one thing that I want to do is a uh, part of the training that we've been putting troopers through, or some of the uh, STARS troopers through, is uh, coordinated takedowns of suspects. We're going to be giving this a version of this training to everybody so everybody can have that option on the table. In that call that we went to earlier, that was not an option. But going forward, it will be. All right. Uh, with that, I'm going to hand it over to anyone down. else who has cuddle notes. That's all I had to say. Uh, I, I, I have a question about that warrant. Go. Uh, would that going to be a, uh, would we consider them on? Yes. All right. Ziggy is good. Yeah, uh, I've watched Ziggy a couple times. Yeah. I'll just about to say that. Oh. Can you yell? Okay. Ladder, please. Sorry. 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 Yeah. Uh, so that entire event just transpired. Good work by all. Officers involved. Um, I'd just like to friendly reminder uh, today, uh, we are going to be partnering up. So get comfortable. Whoever you feel comfortable with, doesn't matter who, we're going to be partnering up for the rest of the day um, with regard in light of the events that happened today. All right. Um, it's, it'd be much better this way, regardless of coverage. Uh, that way, if shit does pop up again, instead of one person uh, getting down and have to wait for backup, there's two of y'all, which means y'all can respond faster, y'all can respond more efficiently. It's just, it's just better overall. So uh, we're gonna be partnering up today, and I'm gonna have a conversation. See if the, this would be the, the standard uh, going forward. But yeah, uh, get comfortable, y'all. Find find partners. With that, actually, um, I'll tell you. Ever since I joined the PD, that's always been like a vision of of mine personally. Is like partners and and, and things like that. Um, really quickly, can we like have like anybody feel free to speak on this? What are you guys' thoughts on partnering? And again, we. I'm just looking for opinions here. What are your guys' thoughts on partnering being the norm uh, rather than the exception? Um, both good and bad is what I'm looking for here. Marshall. Uh, um, previously, I've talked to Levi a lot because I know me and Levi have actually partnered up quite a bit. And uh, I'm actually, I don't know if, if I'm, I don't know how I really feel about it being like mandatory, but I am all for like, encouraging people to partner up and i really think we should be especially in dangerous times and along with you know making yourself safe and having backup sometimes partnering up can actually ease a lot of the stress of the work off and i agree you know, just put you in a better mood and you can learn a lot from your other partners and everything i, I agree i don't think there's a downside to partnering up i think it's actually yep. something that we should agree. Really be looking for 100 percent agree whether it would be just regular partners or whether you're taking a probiotic as an fto doesn't matter as long as you're all partnering up, exactly what Marshall said. Uh, Tenant? I agree. I think. All right. No, that's good feedback. Anybody have like a discerning opinion uh, on why maybe uh, um, standardized partnering might not be a good idea? The only thing I um. can probably think of is uh, just if we have the numbers for it, obviously, because obviously, you know, sometimes in the day, the numbers get low. Um, so obviously, when numbers are low, we wouldn't have to partner. That's the only concern I have about it, because even if numbers are low, it's just popping off, right? We, we don't want to be partnered because then we're not going to have... Uh, I don't. I don't think we'll have sufficient enough. Um, not only people, but like we won't. We won't get, be able to get shit done. You know what I mean? Yeah, I agree. Right. Uh, that's that's a fair point. I would like to raise the point of it, it's going to slow our cars down too. Another good My point. My CBPI does not handle the same with two people versus one. I was also going to say that if criminals start noticing that people are riding with two people, they will take advantage of it. Can you yell, please? Yep, you gotta speak up, Adonis. 
I just said I think that if criminals start seeing that we are partnering up and just seeing like there's more people in the car, of course yeah, it is going to slow us Frank down. Is, at the same time, it is also going to, to be if they start noticing that we are partnering up like have, that, they're going to start taking of, advantage of that. Uh, I've seen it happen before. Supervisors where, in command um, authorizing no for partners. They should be stripping roll, the rob, ability to do partners instead. To say, like, also uh, instead of being time. like, hey, we have enough numbers. Feel free to partner up. It's more like, hey, we don't have enough numbers. Yeah, if you are partnered, please disperse. Put cards out on the road. And for example, like that situation that we were just in, one of the problems we had was that, you know, everyone was right there on the highway and we didn't have any other cars that we're That's not a good point. actively in the situation that could go around. So a part of me also thinks, like, what if we started operating from, like, a minimum, right? Was like, up and we had you were not able to partner unless there could be so, at least five yeah, separate just, units the on the road. You know what I mean? But once there's over five and on I think that the road, you can then like begin to partner up. It, like some because that way, if you did five, probably the best you have the, the three factor. units that can respond to if a major an incident, incident and then two separate units outside of that. Out, and then that's two people. And if we have two people in the car, that's a lot less units out. So that's a lot less room for error. Everyone kind of has to be on their P's and Q's then if we're all partnering up. They'd have to be giving uh, their, best, their best driving ability, for sure. All right, I appreciate the feedback. It's food for thought for uh, us in command uh, as we discuss this further, so thank you. Anything else, Gonzalez? Uh, Smile like, um, if you are conducting a stop, request an 85. Have at least two cars out there. Or if you're partnering up, it really doesn't matter. But uh, yes. let's so have at least two people on stops the positive because of hunters, we don't want another situation hunters, where oh God, it's just shit. one car out there and the, the suspect, uh, the, the person I got the stopped over, of partnership is, is feeling frisky and decides to just shoot an officer. The idea that like, if you pull like up to a robbery so with just one car, you have two stop, people, you can immediately respond. You don't have to wait for a second okay. unit. No matter how minute it is. Same thing with 85. No it's just a simple traffic you two stop. People, you can immediately it's, uh, say, like, oh, this person has a warrant. Get the fuck out of the car by. and don't make them wait. Always have backup. Like, like Rainer, I'm going to quote Rainer. They brought up, though. It's better if we're it's, there when we're not, we're not, not as agile than if we to not be there uh, when partners. we are. So, so yeah. no, he brings up good points. I think the benefits outweigh the negative, though. I would like to get to a point where our numbers are so good that we always partner. That's always been a dream of mine. Um... I would just like to say that uh, going forward, starting this coming weekend, not today, obviously, Langston and I will both be requesting ride-alongs with FTO Pluses. This is for both of us to be learning more on the streets what you guys are doing. This is to help us learn and understand more, and we're going to bring it back to dispatch. We are not going to be armed. We are going to be armored, and this was this was my request, Emily, and we and Langston wants to be a part of it as well. After explaining it to him, and if you guys don't feel we're, that it's a safe situation, uh, I don't know. You drop Kiro, us off somewhere. Know, we're not going to argue with works. you. I think it outweighs the benefits uh, are still there. Secondly, Interceptors would always run solo too. Today we uh, rehired uh, Wheeler Walker onto the force. He is starting at Proby. So we are going to need FTOs available for him. He has he did make it up to corporal rank, so he does know his stuff. Uh finally I I recently hired another dispatcher, Delta 7, Miss Lee in the back there. Um so please welcome her. Be nice. Welcome. That's all I got. All right. Santa Bentley? Yeah. All right. Um, listen, I, don't, I, I, I got to say, I think what everybody in supervisors and above, and frankly, anybody that's ever been on primary might be thinking, guys, we're having a big issue with way too many units arriving to the scene of something where a primary is telling you to go away because there's too many people and we have people who are not doing it. Uh, I, we got, oh man, I'm just going to say it. Uh, you need to start listening now, hundred percent. And I, I don't like putting the foot down on this kind of shit because I feel like it's, you know, it's like a lot of people are just going to roll their eyes, shake their head, whatever. 
But like if anybody of any authority, and that means your primary on scene or anybody of a supervisory rank says, we have three people here, everybody else, please go 10-8, and you refuse to do so. And it would be very obvious if we, like, it, it's it's obvious when, you know, you don't comply, we're going to have to start writing people up. Because here's the deal. We get into scenarios where criminals see 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 cops, and they freak out. They think They think that we're coming in force. They think that we're... I'm coming for them like in a way that's really inappropriate and really uncomfortable and then they start shooting us and then we wonder why right so it's been a problem for a bit we keep just saying oh guys you know make sure to back out when anybody tells you no you're going to get direct commands from now on and if you uh disobey them uh I mean that's that's discipline man and we don't want to do that insubordination exactly and it's been a problem enough where I I, I gotta say it I'm sorry to say it like that but just know like you can be 10-8 and still relatively in the same general zone of the city. So if shit hits the fan, you could be there within a matter of seconds. Like you're trained to do that. So if something's going down at PDM, it doesn't mean you have to 10 8 all the way the fuck to like, you know, the arcade or something. You could still be in the general area and be ready to respond. But like, just don't show it, PDM. Oh my God. Like that's just going to piss them off, you know? And again, if it's a direct order, you need to comply. Okay. Can I get an okay, please? Okay. 10-4. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank uh, you. Also, if you have to bring uh, a vehicle back damaged, um, I understand that we keep hammering on this stuff. Like, oh, if you, we don't want to have to, like, do checkouts and check-ins and stuff. Like, there's a courtesy process to this as well. If you have to bring a vehicle back to MRPP, MRPD damaged because you don't have the time or the resources to get it repaired, put in cop chat, like, hey, SASTV027 is, is back damaged. I'll take care of it. Or one of us will. Like, at least we know then when we see a, a vehicle damaged why it's damaged. So just give a courtesy shout-out for that. It's, it might be a way to start fixing some of the issues that we have with uh, damaged vehicles and fleet. Just a thought. Hunting shots. All right, I'm good. That's that's all I had. All right, let's go around the block. Lieutenant Bell. No, I got nothing. All right, Valentine. Nothing here. Detective Prince. Uh, nothing, sir. All right, Ranger Mars. Let's get forward to you. Uh, is that nothing? Is that Parker? Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, and I do not have anything. All right. Really? After the weekend that we had, none of you guys have anything? Everybody's awesome. Keep being awesome. There costume. it is. Love that. There you uh, go. <laughs> our new, uh, our new, uh, our new lovely dispatcher. Uh, Miss Lee. Uh, thanks for welcoming me she on. Mind speaking up a little bit for us? Uh, speak up. Uh, just hi. Thanks for bringing me on. And today was a very interesting first day, I'm just going to say. We're, we're yeah, birth by fire. Forward. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> Sergeant Vance. Uh, so today was pretty crazy, pretty exhausting. I just want to say everyone did good, uh, great work. Uh, at the end of the day, uh, you know, they may have gotten away, but, you know, as our commander said, they're going to make mistakes. They're going to slip up. We're going to catch them eventually, and we're going to send them away for a long time. You know, as long as we got uh, anyone that they uh, take hostage, uh, kidnap, you know, get them out of harm's way, uh, that's our job uh, done well, in my opinion. All right, good. Lawson. Um, I just want to say everyone's been doing great. I'm going to say what I said last night. Uh, pictures for everything, guys. Pictures, 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 pictures. Because um, now we're going to have a warrant out for someone who was involved in the shooting earlier who we actually didn't have an ID on, but I have pictures proving their uh, involvement. So um, pictures are everything. Major crimes, right. come on. Yes. So, evidence. 100%. Very good. All right. Ranger Johnson. Uh, I got nothing. No, just keep up the good work. All right. Pierce. Uh, just a quick thought. Um, I thought we did good considering it's a very high stress situation and no one freaked out and everyone kind of, you know, handled the pressure pretty well. But yeah, that's it. Okay. All right. Corporal O'Connor. Um, uh, I wasn't on duty during the, uh, Situation yeah, but you were there, fired, bitch. But, no, um, just kidding. <laughs> end for the day, but from what I've seen so far this weekend, everybody's been uh, handling themselves to the best of their ability. They've been doing a great job as a, an entire, um, you know, state trooper. Um, so I really give the good work. Let's keep it going. All right, very good. All right, Marshall. Um, I think everyone's doing a great job, but there's one thing that I wanted to speak about. 
And that's what um, is it? when you when officers are arriving on scene to a very dangerous, a very dangerous scene. Whether it could be officers down, multiple officers down, shootings in the area, oh multiple people down. When you arrive hey, onto a scene uh, like that, and um, you see a, a very suspicious suspect, whether it's an, an armed man, uh, somebody attempting to, to enter a police vehicle, a man standing over like a, a body of a, of a downed officer attempting to, to take his equipment, you, you should really... I'm not sure if you heard that, but when you see that, I believe at this point, I know we had issues recently with um, le like lethal force and some, you know, lines there. But I believe when we see that, I, I believe we should be on our triggers and be shooting. Uh, I have no idea, Valkyrie. Down. Those were set I before agree. I I did it. Wholeheartedly, I agree. Especially with the escalation that's been going on with these criminal scumbags, I agree. I just feel like um, we need to we need to make sure that. Even though it is hard to hesitate in those moments, if someone is very clearly doing something like that at a, at a very active scene, that is someone who, who needs to be taken down. Right. And it's important to know the difference between showing force and using force, right? Correct. And that scenario, if you pull a gun out and point it at someone, doesn't mean you're going to fire. It just says, like, hey, you, you better comply with what I have to say. And you are drawing that weapon to protect yourself and others. Just keep that in mind. All right. Very good points. Very good points. All right, I like that. Very good. All right, Mendoza. Yeah, K and S. I have no idea. Um, something I said a, a few weeks ago, but it seems like not a lot of people listen to, was that whenever you're like switching frequencies on the radio or you're messing with your radio, um, you need to give it a few seconds before you start talking on that frequency because it takes a little bit for your radio to switch. And oh, we've had I some active shooter so training. We're getting better. That's the thing. And talk like this weekend, we have won more gunfights than we've won in a while. Did she cut up for you too? Like, yes. yeah, it sucks that we, she you know, did. didn't we didn't catch the guys today, but the PD is if getting better, and it's not just the guys that were already kind of um, good. You know, give it a few seconds before you start talking. Probies, about I mean, probies aren't yeah. To make probies, sure I mean, that you're not, not being confident kind of makes sense. You know what I mean? Um, and interrupting them because I've had a lot of people doing that recently. Yeah, ten four. Good. Uh, that's a good. That's a good call out for sure. Yeah, might mm -hmm. need to speak with the people that were in charge of the radios, so that way we can get that delay uh, shortened out, or at least cut it out completely. That way we don't have this kind of problem. But good point. Yeah, we'll be sure to handle that as well. All right, George. I have nothing. <laughs> good to know. And finally, Detective Walker. I don't have anything. I wasn't here for the uh, situation. All right. And last but not least, the cat is so cute. Look at, look at him just uh, sleeping like that down there on the uh, pedestal. All right. If no one has uh, nothing else, uh, like I said, Five, partner up. And uh, let's get back there and stop these criminal scumbags. Yeah, hey, uh, Vance O'Connor on me when uh, uh, before you leave. Ten four. All right. Everybody well, else, um, let's go. Howdy, howdy. Lieutenant, how's it hanging? Uh, good, good, good. I just um, I just wanted to do a quick uh, check-in. Um, so it's kind of the state of D1 right now, right? Um, right. We uh, we're pretty good on on supervisors until Smalls uh, potentially exits for major crimes. Um, and then Vance mm -hmm. obviously will need to think about potentially you know posting for a corporal job Except but finally, uh, i kind of want to look at our current roster really quick at uh, anybody that might stand out for a senior level not that i'm saying that we have to promote anyone yet because i know we want to wait but anybody that like i guess is looking better than the last time we talked about this uh, actually miss morris where are you let me take a look right now yeah let me take a yeah, look. go ahead currently breaching a gas station i just want to see uh, what you uh, how you guys feel about our current roster and, and if there's anything that we can do to develop some people too so, the people that I think, um, so for Corporal, I'm going to say no one right now. Agreed. Um, yeah. For Senior Trooper, um, I'm, look, I'm looking at people, I'm paying attention to these individuals specifically, and these are the people that I see. Uh, anyone that I don't mention, it's it's not because, it's most likely because I just don't see them. Uh, for Senior Trooper, 
uh, Ryder Davis. Yeah, I think he uh, uh, has improved a, a great amount. Agreed. And I still want to see more from him, but I think he definitely has the potential to be a good spot for Senior Trooper. Uh, Martial Law, uh, he's uh, he's around. I see him almost daily, uh, but I haven't seen him do uh, too much, uh, so I'm paying attention to him currently. Uh, Ace Mendoza has been doing great work for us uh, consistently. Uh, she uh, still needs to improve in some areas, but uh, I think she has, you know, being a trooper down to a T uh, in terms of, uh, you know, just how to properly act uh, and how to write reports uh, and knowledge of the law. I think she's been doing great work. So those are three candidates that I've been paying attention to. Right. Uh, uh, in order, I'm probably looking at Mendoza first, uh, Ryder second, Martial Law third as options. And if any of them do anything to change that order, uh, then I'll let you know. All right. Probably meant those. Yeah, honestly, I'm on I'm on the exact same page with Vance on this one. Um, definitely nobody for Corporal, um, but uh, those three people are definitely the people I've been looking at as well. Um, just because of the work they've been only really putting in, but going the uh, quality of work they've been doing as well okay. um, has been really focus. sufficient within helping the PD uh, grow. Um, so I think those three are probably the best that we have at the moment. Yeah, um, I, I think agree. Potentials that could come in down the line, or maybe Hootie Granger. He's shown a big improvement uh, in my eyes. Uh, Agreed. More recently, um, I mean, I think it, he would definitely, uh, you know, be like the fourth one. But I, I mean, I think if he keeps putting in the work he's been putting in, he could potentially be up there. Yeah, I, I, I like seeing troopers that face adversity and uh, issue and overcome it and become better. Um, a lot of our current supervisory and command staff have all done that. Um, where we've yeah. at some point or time fucked up and we overcome it, you know? Oh, okay. 100%. Perfect. I'm on the same page as you guys as well. Um, let's check back again next week, see how they're doing. Again, no we're, no need to rush any of this, um, but just making sure that it continues to be on our radar so that we're working towards a goal. Um, that's kind of my, that's kind of where my head is. Yeah, I've, I've, I've said it before and I'll say it again. I don't want to just uh, give somebody a position to fill the position. Um, if it's not needed at the time, then it's not needed, and we can always wait. Yeah, and that goes with the corporal spot, too. Um, you know, once Smalls moves over, I mean, if you two and, and myself uh, can handle what's uh, in front of us, even if, like, technically we could use the corporal, uh, I don't want to put anybody in there until they're ready. Yeah, no, I agree, 100%. All right, perfect. All right, you two are dismissed unless you have something for me. Uh, I do That's not. Thank you, Lieutenant. All right, thanks. D1. Uh, yeah, I actually had something. Uh, all right. Um, so... We're closely uh, watching that frequency. Uh, Mr. Long and Mr. Mertoria both uh, escaped custody, which is uh, pretty bad. Uh, I think right now, um, now more than ever, honestly, if there's any moves that could be made towards any kind of, uh, you know, Department of Justice action, uh, like a list of properties, uh, because we got the call that he's going somewhere, who knows where this guy crawls to, you know? Who knows where he's hiding out? Thank you very much. Yeah, so, I, mean, I actually... It's probably a major crimes thing, but uh, I think that now more than ever is the time to make uh, make moves towards that. Make yourself at home. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, so we're talking about uh, the Arden situation and things like that. Um, Do you feel confident? You know, we were we working kind of behind the scenes on a few on things. Uh, well, and I by, say, by we, uh, I mean uh, mostly it was Thompson and you... at the time Runner. Um, we do need to work <laughs> with you are, the you know, you Department of Justice and, and, the, and the judges and all that to really make sure that we like make movements also, and get ready for you know, search and seizures so uh, and things like that. I think we really need to get to a point where we can actually start with, doing it uh, instead of waiting to need it. And then and like once we need it, we're like, ah, oh, fuck, we don't have it. Yeah, I guess we can't do it. And it's I becomes heard, cyclical. Um, Properly. I've reached out to the ADA's department Going to figure out what exactly this, needs so. to be done to get those because we do have some warrants we're trying to get yeah. for some uh, raided are, from raids. You are comfortable with yeah. it, what, so right. what we need because we need property listings, so we need an affidavit establishing probable cause that we then send to, to good. the ADA's office, All right. which they then use to grant us a search warrant, which we then take to real estate to get property information. Once we get that information, we write another affidavit of establishing course, probable cause for search and seizure, get the warrant for search and seizure, then we conduct the actual raid. So two affidavits, two warrants. One is an information warrant that we use to get info from uh, real estate. The second is a search and seizure warrant. So it sounds like we need a process too on like, let's say Vance, and this is a good example. Fuck, Arden Long has escaped our custody. We need to get 
the affidavit for uh, the information and then this and that. Like, who starts that process on our side? Any lieutenant can function as a warrant officer. I was working on that with CC, um, Excellent. but I sent her some documentation, basically like a blank affidavit that I was going to try and use and fill in information around it. She said she's going to look at it and uh, get back to me. She hasn't. I'm going to follow up on it. Awesome. Right. Thank you. Because Major. the more of it that we can reuse and be like, all right, this is just uh, legally speak that we can put in everything and then just change pertinent details, the faster and easier it will be. So I'm just trying to get a template established, essentially. All right. Um, yeah, that situation was, quite frankly, was hell. Went through a lot. It was multiple hours, nonstop. But, uh, you know, we pushed through. Yeah. You guys should have seen this guy, man. He was strapped to the bed at Pillbox after I shot him down. And, I don't know, it was like he was foaming at the mouth to get at one of us. Damn. That guy is a psychopath. Guaranteed. No psych eval needed. You know, um, yeah, and I, I think uh, what Thompson's working on is going to be really good for us to be more proactive, um, which is, it's just, uh, it's all good. So, awesome. All right. Perfect. Gotcha. All right. You just, just brought that sure. up, and I knew Thompson had more details than I. And then, Thompson, I met with the two of them just to kind of go over the D1 roster. Uh, as we look at potential candidates for senior trooper in the near future. Um, okay. And continuing to develop D1. All right. So, yeah, we're, any, in, a, we're in a good spot. to mind? You know, I, I think our top ones right now, uh, Mendoza is probably, honestly, our, our most well-rounded trooper in D1. Um, time will give her the experience she needs for senior level, but based on mm -hmm. where she is right now, it's pretty incredible. Uh, Ryder Davis has improved quite a bit and is very good with other troopers, in my opinion. Um, so I think he's a good candidate in the in the very near future, um, and then uh, Marshall Law, yeah, he's come he's come up really quickly. He's very active. I think um, you know I I, I trust O'Connor and Vance's assessment on how he does in the field because I haven't seen him in in field work very often. Um, I didn't realize something. Uh, Mendoza and Law aren't FTOs, so I'm going to change it to Davis being the top pick because yeah an FTO. exactly agreed so well, if they get if they get uh their fto panel i'm surprised they're not ftos uh to be honest well, but i know uh, martial law is interested in being one i know when i uh i posted an email to supervisors via uh, discordia last night uh, talking about law wanted to be an uh, FTO ranger changing over is uh folks like up to the commanders both see of if them. they're interested and if they are to go ahead and push them forward uh, Getting the supervisor you. recommendations, and let's just get the process rolling. All right. But yeah, so, I don't know. I, I can contact them did, for uh, you guys. Anybody check those Excellent. Shots? That'd be great. And, uh, you know, honestly, um, yeah, well. regarding the senior troopers, uh, you know, I lean on well, O'Connor, I guess, predominantly. Yeah, with you, Vance is, is, has his, like, you know, supervisor um, to, yeah. you know, identify the talent. And when you feel somebody's ready, let me know. I'll let uh, yeah, um, I didn't check them, I the commander know, and we'll, we'll make it happen. There and, uh, check them out. Gotcha. Uh, you can. Yeah, I'm, and, I'm, oh. I'm definitely just keeping watch, uh, seeing how they do, what they do, uh, how they perform. And uh, I'm definitely looking out for it, how Hell they yeah. deal with uh, adversity, situation, like hard situations. Cause, uh, that, that shows me the most, if, uh, if anything. Agreed. Well, and, you know, I think we're entering in a, a new era with our new leadership, um, you know, letting leaders lead. And, um, you know, Absolutely. Vance, you're a leader. So I trust you um, in your judgment. Thank you. Gotcha. That means a lot. Hell yeah. All right, let's get out of there. Huh? Gotcha. Hell yeah. I can't, can I become a supervisor without being an FTO? That's not how that works. Oh, uh, yeah, negative. Right. You Bentley. have to be an FTO. Bentley. Oh, yeah, what's up? Oh my God. He needs, uh, he needs a personal. Partner. Right, what do you mean? And uh, he wants a personal oh, car. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Have you uh, yeah, thought about what kind of vehicle you want? Listen, you know the words about that come my mouth are, and I'm, I know you're gonna say no. I'm crown, crown Vic. Vic. Oh, you want Vic. a Crown Vic? I mean, that's, fuck. That's not that's not what I want, and the Charger's not what I want, but it's what I have to settle with. So. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh wait, you're eyeballing the Explorer, aren't you? Yeah, oh, yeah, 100. Yeah, it's a good. It's a good car. Um, okay, yeah, we can get you set up with the Crown Vic then. Um, let me see what uh what we have available. There's two cars. One's owned by former the former commissioner, and the other one's owned by former captain of the state police. Yeah, oh, Jesus. Okay. Um, if they're not actively here, we really can't grab those. 
Yeah. We may just I, have to I, buy I, a new I'm, one, which is fine. Yeah, that's that's what I that's what I wanted to do, but I wanted to wait till I got a second opinion on it. Yeah, that's fine. I can set it up to you right now. We can make this real quick. Okay. All right. Say thank you. Thank you. No, thank you. All right. Thank you for allowing me to do my job in buying a vehicle and making sure Frank doesn't fuck it up. That's fine. <laughs> Uh, oop, that's not a Crown Vic Interceptor. It was really good, RP. Uh, wait, what is my ID again? 15. I need to give myself 25k back. 15. Damn, we're not over four mil anymore. Severely under it, if anything. For some gun, the forty-two gonna have to do some state council shit. Hey, can you do me a, a favor uh, before you leave, Gonzalez? Yeah, what you got? Head on that vehicle structure, because uh, I don't have it open right now. Can you tell me what license plate is the next one up, and then assign it to uh, Johnson? Uh, uh, give me a second here. Yeah, go ahead and take your time. If you can't do it, just let me know. I can. I'll. It'll just take me a little longer. All right. I don't think. I don't think state councilman has that ability. I think it's only a bell wrangler in y'all. Yeah, she gave me a couple of extra plates to throw on. So, um, what I need to, what I need specifically is the vehicle structure to be updated, so I know which one to put on. Like, I don't know what the next uh, SAST V is. Forty-four. Forty-four. Okay, and then could you fill that out with Johnson? Uh, yeah, but I don't think my student council, my state council, uh, okay, I got position you. allows me to do that anymore. No, it's not what I'm asking really him to do. He doesn't understand what I'm asking him. I'm asking him to go to the vehicle it is structure. Not 44. 44. The 40 series is Explorers. It is 29. Thank gotcha. You. All right. Thank you. Wait, wouldn't it be 28? 28 doesn't have one listed. Or is... He doesn't have one listed because people changed it without letting me know, so I'm about to add it. Oh, okay. All right. 29 it is. Thank you. Damn, good eye. Holy shit. to add the extras. Is he... Yes, he is patrol certain. Permission to have a hint of green in my, my personal? Jesus Christ, uh, this guy. Unfortunately, negative. Um, although, we are... <laughs> It's something that yeah, we like, gotta talk uh, about that. Yeah, we gotta talk about yeah, that. I agree. I was just, you know, you know, can't hurt that. Hey, ass. you know, shoot your shot, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, better we'll to talk ask about, him we'll turn down it. or not ask. We'll that's talk for sure. About it. I'm not. He's not the only one that's. Uh, he's not the only one that's requesting for that kind of stuff. Oh, Gonzalez, do you want the evidence I took off the moratorium hard and long? Uh, I have all their stuff. And my pockets are like really heavy. Uh, let me get. Wait for her to move. That one. All right. So for moratory, you're gonna get. You're gonna put it to evidence locker four seven eight three, and then I believe four seven eight two will be for. All right. Uh, okay. Get that. Get, get this. Get this damn car. Get this damn car. Uh, give ownership. All right, make sure you give him your your uh, city ID. Oh, uh, it is thirteen. 
All right, you should be able to get in. Uh, try to park it. Oh, well, then some All righty, that's yours. Out. Make sure it's equipped right, properly you. and you're good to go. Here's good work, Johnson. Yeah, I'm going to hit the evidence locker and then... Hell yeah. Evid, then armory. Ten four. Thank you. Uh, I'm sorry, kilo zero two uh, ten nine. Did somebody go into that uh, that call? Two ten and Sierra zero three R. All right, ten four. As a, as a reminder, we can do seventy twos or seventy two hour ones. Uh, just let us soup know if you need help with uh, that restraining order. Seven one two four and one and four ten in route to that car. Many. All right, I'm gonna do state council shit. I'll see you all in like thirty minutes. Have fun, councilman. Once again, zero seven ten forty two for state council shit. I'll see you in thirty minutes. Ten four. Did you say zero zero three? I'm not on that. Or are you? You're like, haha, I'm at work playing RP. Uh, what am I doing real quick? Oh, I'm gonna send. Uh, I'm gonna send Janet a surprise. She hasn't seen me in my mechanic outfit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna give her, cause Bentley's coming off of his a little bit of sad boy shit. I think he still has a pretty heavy imposter syndrome, which I have to play through, cause I don't have it. I need to make sure that he has it. It's gonna be code four on the hunting shot. So fucking, <laughs> it's so low res. Can't. Damn, Bentley, you're looking kind of fucking like a bottom bitch, actually. Holy. I made him look a little bit too much like a bottom bitch. Can I do a selfie? Hey, yo, why you throwing up the guns, Bentley? The fuck, dude? He actually kind of does look cringe. Not gonna lie. Uh, there we go. Get a nice little snipped screenshot of... Uh, I gotta wait for me to cycle through the poses again. Hold on. Let's get out of it. Back into it. All right, here we go. Here we go. Go see her in the outfit. Ah, this is not appropriate. Outfit to patrol in. Are we targeting the beard? Yes, we do, actually. We do need to do that. I forgot. Fold your fucking arms, Bentley! There we go. Look up a little more. Up. God fucking damn it. It's the beginning of the cycle. That has the right look because he looks down weird. Cop 2 is like, uh. Eh, I guess that works. Cop 2 is the fucking basic bitch fucking folding emote. Oh, he's blinking. This is a really difficult angle to get. There we go. This is pretty good. Boom. All right, save it. Uh, now we got to get it to Im Im Imger, Im Im Imaginer. Dan64, baby, that's the best one. Ain't nobody going to break my stride. Ain't nobody going to slow me down. Oh, no. I've got to keep on moving. Ain't nobody gonna break a mustard. All right, I'll wait till she responds, but I have the link now. Of course, you're one of the best troopers we've got, and I want to make sure you're okay. Aww. Uh. I appreciate the kind words. It's not even remotely accurate. We have a lot of we have. 
but it's very kind of you to say kind of to say now Bentley does not think that highly of himself bro need to save the number already <laughs> but I'm lazy chat I'm fucking lazy Fine, you guys pulled my leg enough, and by you guys pulled my leg enough, I mean I saw one person say it in chat, and now I'm self-conscious, and now I will do it. Oh, two, two, five, back to me. But anyway, back to what we were saying before. Um, I fucking would love it. And this is like now completely out of left field because our topic of conversation has moved on. I would love it if we became a little bit more no pixely with our PD. And I've given like you guys notice I've made Bentley a little closer to that where he kind of he kind of fucks around and dicks around with other cops now. Where before he was always like, yes, sir. Of course. No, absolutely. Yeah. You know, um, like I've made him more like, fuck you kind of deal. Right. But yeah, I'm telling you what, if we ever went full no pixel in TSR peak, I like it would just it wouldn't work. People would not appreciate that. Oh, I don't want to throw that away actually. Do I throw away the I don't feel, I feel like this is a good collector. I have so much just dumb shit in my pockets. I wish I didn't have. Anywho. Um I digress. I I wish we could be a little harder. And maybe I'll make, like, I don't know. I, Bentley does well. I made Bentley with a very specific idea in mind. If I wanted to be a hard-ass cop, I would make a hard-ass cop. But then I would have to obviously start over. But, like, Bentley's not the kind of guy that's going to get in your face if you do something wrong. Which would be kind of cool if we had someone like that. Who would be like, hey, yeah, what the fuck are you doing? Like, Bentley could do that, but it's not, it's not as in character as him going, hey, you know, what happened? Right? Like a cop that goes into your face and is like, yo, you fucked that up. Like, Ugh, you know, I would love that role play. I would love to do that role play. I did not create a cop character that does that role play. <laughs> but like, imagine I'm going to pick on Cottonelli's character. Imagine like Cottonelli runs over somebody and instead of Bentley going like, what, ha what happened? What do you, why did you do that? Instead, you heard something more like Cottonelli. Like, what the fuck? I heard that you ran over someone at 105 miles per hour. What the fuck is going on in your head, dude? Like, are you shitting me? Like, that would be so much better. That would be so much better. I would love that role play. We do not currently have that role play. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. I would love it, though. Like, that's the, that's the shit, you know? That's the shit. And, like, Bentley's done it a couple of times, but never, like, to that extent. Howdy. Howdy. I'm uh, double-checking our vehicle roster, because apparently people made shit uh, changes and shit without me knowing, so I'm double-checking uh, everything. Gotcha. For example, I... uh, O'Connor got his change, and it uh, changed the structure, so now 021 is open. Oh, okay. That's good to know. So um, we decide that we're requiring partners today? Uh, I don't know if we ever require partners. Um, I don't know if that's ever going to be our goal. If You don't have to have a partner if you don't want one. Uh, I just asked for one and no one responded. So I, uh, Mendoza. It, was either, it was either I go out by myself or I go 42. So. Uh, Mendoza, we, I, I don't mind going with you if you want to wait a second. Okay. Um, so I, I do have two additional vehicles that are specifically traffic set um they're no push bar uh no push bar charger and a no push bar cvpi if you want i can they're they're traffic one and traffic two are the the license plates i wanted them easily distinguishable out of the main and again you, if you want these changed let me know um i just thought it'd be good to put them off the main list so that people don't like randomly pull them out and be like oh there's no push bar right yeah, I uh, put them at the very bottom of the vehicle structure so oh, they're nice. in it. You can keep them that way just so they stay, so they stay distinct.
Oh, nice. Okay, we're on the same page. Yeah, anybody can take them. They're just under my name. Yeah. And I figure people yeah. probably don't want personals if uh, they don't have push bars, so they can just stay in the fleet. Yeah. The only one, the ones highlighted are green are people who actually have those as personals. The ones that are white are Alyssa RO and. Gotcha. That's, those are basically our society vehicles. For example, SASCV 013 is Damien's old charger, Christine. Uh, I'm going to try and keep her unlisted as possible because that's the one has got a storied history. Uh, this guy got changed to Nyal right off stream. I had a couple of moments um, to change it. And I did. <clears throat> yeah, it's Nyal right. <laughs> it was actually done... Um, so when we do VR training, uh, it's all in character, um, and there was a sequence that happened back then. But yeah, I'm just making sure everything's up to date. Okay, sounds good. All right, Mendoza, let's do it. Are you cool with driving and I'll do comms, or uh, do you want to do comms? Uh, I'm a really bad driver. So right. Yeah. Yeah, so the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday VR shit, which is mostly for training, has had some uh, RP that isn't going to leak into the... Oh, what the fuck? This, um... Hold on, this livery is wrong. One second. Let me get it repainted. Okay, out. And then in. Delta 7, just to confirm, it does appear those are uh, hunting shots at 1083. 10 4. Okay. Alright, nice. That looks like it is. 26 is gonna go check those shots out. 10 4. All right, let's do it. Ten zero zero four, back to eight. Kilos are one twenty seven or ten eight. All right, uh, Mendoza partnering. I haven't done this before. Really need an SSL forty five command. What the heck? I hear Mars, you want 85 from those shots? Alarms. Ten four. I don't think it's a hunting area. Yeah, I mean we've got a three one one, but they're a little close to the road. Yeah, here it is. Yeah. Ooh. Whoa, what the hell happened back here? Code seven with a damaged vehicle with its alarm going off behind the PD. What the fuck? So, hold on. There's a damaged vehicle here, alarm going off. There's another one that struck a power post, it looks like. Hmm. Huh. Uh, Kilo Zero Two, does, do we know if we have any uh, civilian tows around? Uh, no idea. Hmm. I'll go ahead and check. Hello, this is Lieutenant Bentley with San Jose State Trooper. Any tows available? Do we have any tow available? Yes. Oh. Oh God. Whoops. Holy shit. Okay, I definitely broke this window. I feel like it was already broken. Oh, yeah, I was definitely. I was just trying to get the stupid alarm to turn off. Uh, Kilo zero two to dispatch. Go for dispatch. Uh, yeah, we could at least use one tow behind uh, MRPD at the lower, like section. Um, we have two vehicles that could be towed though. I just contacted them. They already have one on the way. So. All right, ten four. We'll uh, we'll talk to them when they get here. All right, 10 So I'm thinking about paying Both them for- Those are definitely locals, so. Yeah, jeez, must have been a, some kind of weird accident. 
Uh, I'm down to paying them for both, but if they don't want to tow both, we can local tow one and have them take the other. Uh, but I'll pay them for both. Okay. Okay. All right, very Sounds good. good. Just don't want anybody to hit this car. All right, folks. We got a uh, got a damaged vehicle uh, on the other side here. Um, just remain calm. We got to block it off so you guys don't hit it. You guys can go around if you would like. Uh, Law just says that you don't have to though. You could just stay here if you wanted. Okay, folks. How you doing today, Ma uh, late uh, ma ma'ams? Um, I was gonna say ladies, but that sounds well, maybe. But ha ha hello, everyone. Hopefully you are doing well. Uh, yeah, on your way to work. Okay. Yeah, no, that's good. Where do you work? Oh, uh, at Nunya. I've never heard of Nunya before. What kind of business is that? Nunya business. Hey, wait a second. Fuck you. Wait, that's mean. Wow, I'm just trying. Okay, all right, all right, whatever. All right. I can do both. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, Place is right over there. Hey. Yep. So the one right there, obviously, and then the one over there. Um, here, mm -hmm. I can I can pay you real quick. Okay. There you go. So, I don't want to, like, block traffic. Let's do this one up front first so that yeah, we can get Yeah, that's out of what here. I was thinking. Sounds good. Thank you. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, a local just got out of their car and ran away. Excellent. Yep. Oh, because if you're ever in really... Vehicle. Yep, if you're ever in really bad traffic, there's one thing that you should do. Abandon your vehicle and just run to work. Yep, that just makes sense. I guess that's actually kind of pretty American of them, you know, especially if they have a boss that doesn't, you know, that doesn't, like, uh, have tolerance, you know? Maybe it's faster. All right, I'll go take care of that vehicle. Man, are those still all hunting? And four. Uh, it's a large group. A large group of okay. <laughs> okay, but when you say large, like how many people? One twenty-four to two twenty-six. Yeah, you see a large group. I imagine like twelve. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about hearing twelve hunting shot notifications. Um, when I was helping process, uh, that Will guy, like, as he was telling us he wanted to beat the hell out of us, uh, we literally got probably seven or eight hunting shots in a row, just one after the other. All I'm gonna say is that they don't always hit the first shot. Is there any way to just ban the locals that are calling us for each of those shots? Can we just tell them, like, hey, man, just forget our number? That's what I was telling uh, Mars. I, I wish there was like a way, because I don't know how these logos be finding this stuff out, man. <laughs> uh, shoot, Tim, when you mentioned that Hughes guy, I looked at the report. Is there terroristic threats on here? Uh, I believe so. A firm. He basically said that he wants to attack the PD because we're the PD. That's, um, seems politically motivated. 10 4. Yeah, right. I'm gonna be honest with you, uh, we're not gonna sit here. I'm gonna go get gas. Okay. <laughs> you know. Kilo zero two one twenty seven ten cents for gas. You know, at the end of the day, we paid them for both. You know, if they come back there and that car is moved or whatever, I mean, it is what it is. Tell you what, the, the amount of times that uh, Lieutenant Rayner and I have sat in a car together, shooting the shit and just wondering, like, what it might be like to become, like, you know, one of these criminal, you know, scum on the streets or stuff like that. We have both r resigned, Mendoza, and don't use this against me. Uh, we have both resigned to the idea that if we were to become serial killers, we would be called uh, the Hunters Hunters, and uh, we would just hunt hunters. 
honestly, I'd be down. Yeah. Uh, I'd join in on that. For continuity of our badge that I'm wearing, that is a joke. But, uh, too. Man. And there was a stretch there where we didn't get a lot of them. Uh, those, those hunting calls, so. Yeah, and then, um, a group started up, like, a, a hunting, like, training thing. And so, like, there have been groups. I've, like, checked licenses for, like, eight people at a time at uh... hunting calls. Because they're teaching other people how to hunt. Uh, be advised, a white motorcycle just went northbound to Strawberry Ave at a high rate of speed. We're gassing, so we couldn't take care of it. Are you assuming your speed trap position? Negative, but now I kind of want to. I got you there, Garrison. Don't don't give us that. I'm gonna... Excuse, I am an excellent driver. I'm taking the spot, actually. Yeah, I caught him twice there yesterday. Of course. I might write him. I might have to write him up soon. Like, I know he's District 2, so maybe not, but at some point, like, you're just breaking the law and thinking you can get away with it? I mean, come on. Yeah, the second time he popped a wheelie in front of me. Oh, come on, really? On his motorcycle. Yeah. So I pulled him over the first time at the speed trap spot up here that I always take, and he got so mad that he drove past me at five miles per hour, and then I pulled him over yeah, again. Yeah, I was there. Like, come on, man. Yeah, I was the passenger uh, in his car during Oh, were you? <laughs> oh my god. I'm going to be honest, I, um, I was so just red with rage that I didn't, uh, I didn't even notice he had a passenger, I'm going to be honest. Maybe I did, and I just don't remember. I'm not sure. It's 7 to 226. Uh, go for it. Can I have you 1019 to help us with something? Ten four. God, that took forever for her to respond. He's been been looking for her for a bit. Oh, she texted back. <gasps> nice. Yeah, some people can be pretty bad about responding to their call sign. Oh shit! I gotta go back to Imager. You know, some days uh, I sit here and it's like a constant flow of speeding and just general mischief. And then some days I sit here and it's it's like kind of a relaxing, peaceful like time, you know? You kind of hear the hum of the highway above you and, you know, there's not a whole lot of locals spewing about all the stuff they did last night. Like, it's, it's a nice, peaceful spot. Uh, by 1019, do you mean the sheriff's office or uh, MRPD? MRPD. MRPD. We're at MRPD. Yeah, MRPD, it seems like. Yeah, uh, Mars, I don't know if you could tell, but I'm, I'm pretty sure they're talking about MRPD. Ten <laughs> <laughs> nine. Oh, God. You know, there was a time where we would make jokes like that, and the, and the command staff would tell us immediately to shut up. Like they would just Listen, immediately guys, go. Guys, I live in the woods, okay? Like ten three. Like they would just get so annoyed. And like I, ten nine. I was like a corporal at the time, and I was like, man, like ten when three. we have nothing else going on, like I don't think that stuff's bad. You know, it's like morale boosting. Ooh. Yeah, Ooh. I don't know. The only problem I have with it so is when like three, some people make zero. like jokes and stuff like that, and. They're, like, it's perfectly fine, and then, like... Hey, that hunting I shot's in a good. weird spot. Uh, we just checked it. It's all clear. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Like, I made a... I make a joke very similar, and I get told to stop. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Well, um, you know, it's still, I think, up to whoever is, like, on, but, um... Oh, yeah, I let that shit fly. I mean, whatever. Again, unless uh, unless that stuff's like a inappropriate or b, it's taking over our ability to do our work, like, and yeah, whatever. I mean, we need the stress relief too. And like right now, when we have a bunch of units out and there's like not shit going on, like, why not? Just let it happen. Man, 
that whole situation on the highway was so stressful. While happening things minimal in information, one of the mechanics said something to another officer about speed trapping the spot you're in. I, I just want people to not speed by a pillbox. That's all. That's the only reason I'm here. There's a good roleplay reason why Bentley speed traps here, and it's to make sure that people don't speed by pillbox. Oh, really? Wow. It's like five of them in one spot. <laughs> they need to aim better. The cones out there, and it's wild. I'm telling you guys, they don't always hit the first shot. <laughs> Why not? I'm starting to think the animals might be shooting back. Perhaps. Good chance. That is a very good possibility. And how does one acquire a hunting license? Uh... Share, uh, what's his you name? can go ahead and talk to uh, Corporal Gonzalez. Ah, perfect. I'll be up there shortly. I'm gonna make a quick phone call. I too will join the hunters. Okay. Uh, Gonzalez is taking care of state council stuff, but no. Uh, hello? Back, sure Summers! Oh, wait, it's what's fine. What's going on? The hell I heard you were coming back and then you're not coming back and yeah, then we'll you're coming. Why that. are you fucking playing with my heartstrings, man? Uh. <laughs> I apologize for playing with yeah, your heart. No, you don't. You don't, you aren't actually sorry. I, I've I've known you long enough to know when you're actually genuinely sorry about something. No, you think this is a fucking joke? Uh, <laughs> you're laughing. Of course you do. Okay, listen, <laughs> bud. You were one of the best troopers uh -huh. that we've had. Like, get your ass back on the force. Get your ass into a a CVPI or whatever the fuck you want to be in. And like, come on, man. Like, you know that at the end of the day, you know. Life on the troopers, life on the force, it's good shit, all right? We want you back, okay? Uh, I appreciate you reaching out and letting me know, Bentley. No, you're not. Fuck. God, whatever, Summers. Well, listen, uh, the time I had with the troopers was there's a lot of good times, and, hang, you know, bonding with you and Rainer were, was great. But I, I had my reasons for leaving Bentley, and... I'm glad that things seem to be doing better for you guys command-wise and working stuff out, but it's there's stuff that hasn't changed and won't ever change, and it's not any of your fault or anything that you guys can do, but it's it's Listen, time is it, for is me it the to hunters? move forward. Is it the hunters? Yes or no? The it's not the hunters, although they are a problem. All right. All right. Because if if it's if it's the hunters that are keeping you away, I'll figure out I'll figure out a way to get them to stop. All right. You can I, tell me. I, I, I promise there's nobody else here. All right. You can tell me if it's the hunters, Damien. I will take care of it if it's the hunters. The hunters the hunters were definitely a problem. Okay. There are the. Are the, the if, if, okay. So answer me this. If I got are, rid of the hunters, are, you, you coming back? Problem. Fuck. Okay. All right. I, I just. I think it's time for me to look at stuff in a bit of a different direction. And I, as I told Rainer, I don't know what the future holds. Maybe one day I'll. I'll do not back, tease us, I... all right? Yes or no? Are you coming back? As of right now, no. Oh, God damn it! As of right now, like you're like I, the I'm sexy, you're like the it. sexy high school crush that fucking flirts with the with with, with you, and you're like, oh, this could be a thing, and they're like, you know what? You're great, and maybe one day it will be a thing. But right now, as of this very moment, and okay. maybe it might if change you, tomorrow. If you want, if you want a straight, if you want a straight answer, then the answer is no. I don't like that answer, though. <laughs> I know you don't like that answer, but I plan to still help and support eventually as Dr. Summers, since I am going oh, to be... Oh, God, come as, on. As no, no, pillbox. no. Like, I love Pillbox, don't get me wrong, but come back to the... Tr th what? Okay, man. Oh, gotta go. Curiosity check. Okay. Oh my god, fuck you, pull over. Can we get a plate read? Uh yep, hold on one second, I'll tell you when I'm ready. I'll 
swear to God, I did not. All right, run that right. Are you in a hurry? Up. Do I need to like okay. get you Victor, out of here quick? Delta, uh, I have Oscar, to talk to Chase. I got it. Okay, can you roll down your Shout windows? What Zero fucking four. tint is this? Holy! I have no idea. I bought it this way. This it came okay. like this. Okay, all right. Can you roll down your window though? Uh, I can't. That I can't was see. Going back to a Anthony Gonzalez. Yeah, I'm, I don't. I didn't have time to change it. I didn't have time to change this. I gotta talk to Chase about the shooting stuff. negative. All right. Gonzalez, here's, here's the deal. What? I get pulled over and 10 units show up, but what God don't get You get pulled over, over 30 time? times, Garrison. I don't need to hear that, all right? <laughs> anyway. Time! Uh, all right. Okay, so here's the deal. I caught you going 63. I, I speed trapped near pillbox specifically because uh, it's pillbox oh, and people speeding oh, near it are, are pretty rough. I'm sorry about that. All right. I'll yeah, let you off with a warning. That's, that's, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Also, these tents, I mean, like, who? you're glad. I, mean, I know. Be grateful Manly doesn't isn't here anymore. He would book you for those yeah. all, those alone. I bought I bought it this way. I, I'm probably going to change it next time I, I ever decide to go off-duty. Yeah, I got you. Gotcha. Off all right, I got you. I got you. It's easier. All right. All right, any lights are off. You can go. All right. All right, thanks. Yeah, no problem. Also, I think there's an abandoned vehicle in that intersection ahead of us. Oh, okay. Then we can do it. We're code four on that code seven, but we have an abandoned vehicle. Yeah, it's one of those days, apparently. Seven. Just let me know if you need to. Uh, yeah, we'll need it. Okay. Can I get a plate read as well? Um, somebody, anybody? Go for plate read. 81, Lima, Yankee, Yankee 779. It's coming back with nothing, so that would be a local. I will notify those from your location. Uh, one second. Uh, hello, Lieutenant Bentley. Hello. 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 Can you hear me? Uh, I can hear you. Hi. Hello. Hello, Hello. sir. Are you are you a mechanic? Uh, on occasion when the PD absolutely needs it, yes. Cause you can, you can, you can work on, you can fix, you can work, fix on me any, any time. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. She pulled the fucking move back on me. Holy shit. Uh, oh my. <laughs> it's the same move, dude. It was the same move. Uh, uh, uh Mendoza. Yeah. Uh, can I ask for your advice? Sure. Um. So I. You know. Um. Uh. You know what? Never mind. Hey! No! 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 You don't honk at me. Do you not see my lights, man? Honk one more time. Swear to God, do it. Honk one more time. See what happens. No, what are you doing? Listen, you see the abandoned vehicle right there? You see a, a police vehicle in front of it with lights on? Yeah, maybe you get to wait or go around, all right? Don't give me that look. Hold on, let's check your fucking plate. How are your tabs looking? May? Okay, all right. All right, all right. Sit tight, don't do anything stupid, and we'll be out of here, okay? problem all right I'm gonna go ahead and stand over here oh. hello again wow what a quick a dink <laughs> here's money <laughs> thank you I got both of them at the other one too oh I don't know. perfect thank you we'll uh we'll hold traffic for you and um uh, yeah do your thing Again, uh, okay. Bentley is not phased by, like, she, like, clearly looks, like, good, right? Duh. 
Uh, Bentley, if it's it, like sexuality, he's all for. We heard, we learned that really early in Bentley's career, when he like went on that date with Alora, uh, where she was like, "Oh, sex, you know, sex workers are weird." And Bentley's like, "What? No, they're not." Um, Bentley only gets frazzled if people flirt directly with him. If you flirt with Bentley, he will become frazzled. 4042, can I get you an installed place right? Okay, that was terrifying. That was definitely the correct way to go around, apparently. <laughs> Yeah, so like, she looks b b clearly appealing, but like Bentley's good? not gonna be like, oh, oh you, my god, you're so pretty. That that call seemed a little weird, and then, are you are you okay? Uh, yeah, no, I'm good. My, um, Girl, my girlfriend did. Uh, uh, she she used a joke that I used on me on back at me, and it like, it was uh. No, never mind. We can just uh, we'll just ten eight. <laughs> okay. Zero zero two and one three seven and ten eight. Ten four. See, I, like I'm not really good at like the whole uh, uh, th smooth talk thing. I just I'm a very much a like I'm pretty I'm good at being a, a, a cop. I could say cop things. I, I can those that that comes naturally to me. Um. But like the ro romance, the, the the things that like like even though I've I've dated Janet now for a couple months, like it's just not natural all the time for me. Um, so I try I try to work really hard at it, and sometimes I think I'm being stupid and goofy, and then she just used a line it back at me from like months ago, and um, yeah, I don't know. It's not that I need advice on that. It was just so jarring. To like know that that like had an impact on her that I like didn't know how to comprehend it if that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's that's all. That's why I was like I don't really know if I actually need advice more than just a moment to process what the f what just what uh, what, they, what she just did you know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, I'm good. Just want to make sure. Uh huh. All right. Yeah, that's why Bentley backed out. Oh my god, hunters again. Guess what? It's hunting. <gasps> I'm shocked. I actually did give my hunting license. How yesterday. dare you? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I got it. I just decided to for some reason. You know, I was so, at some point. I forgot who I was talking to. Um, it might have been Rainer. It might have been Damien or someone that's like, oh, I should go get my hunting license. I'm like, what? Shooting criminals is just not exciting enough. You have to shoot defenseless animals instead. You know. See, my reasoning behind it was to become a better shot. So. Oh, that's a good point. Have you? Um, you should consider. I, I think our next VR is going to be well i think it's actually going to be around hostage negotiation more than anything else but we've been doing some yeah some training on active shooting yeah i've been at um all of the vr training so oh nice well all good i really don't pull anybody over unless they're going like in at least 60. hunting yeah this kind of makes me want to get on ori dude Yeah, right. I, I like partnering, but I don't like um, like this scenario with Mendoza is fine because Mendoza is a good cop. Um, I don't like the idea of Bentley partnering with anybody lower than a lieutenant. Yeah, but uh, earlier still proved to me that I still need to get better at my shot. At something I'm not good at. You know, um, I mean, it's it's one of those silly things where it's like the only way to get better at it is to be bad at it long enough where you're no longer bad at it, you know? Like when I came into the city, I couldn't shoot anything. Like I was really bad at it. Cause like academy shooting on 
still targets is different than real life shooting. And um, what the hell? basically, I, I remember being taught the first shot's your tracer shot. Like you should always look for where does that go and like adjust from there. And that's really hard to do in the moment. But like, I always look, where's my shot currently going and then adjust quickly. Um, even if like, that means the time between the first shot and the second shot or like, it might be like an extra half a second just so I, my my mind has enough time to comprehend, okay, my shot went too far to the right and too high. Let me hone it in. And then from there, um, I mean, practice helps, but I've been able to pull my shot back in based on where I see the first shot go. Like, I'm never really expecting to hit my first few shots. It's always like the fourth and the fifth of the ch of the chamber are, are the, the ones that hopefully by then I've adjusted enough where I can hit my target. Especially with how chaotic our jobs are, you don't really have a time to like line up your shot. Yeah. I mean, so far I've only been involved yeah, in like one shootout. Somehow I keep conveniently avoiding them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's uh, it, it is it is scary. That's for sure. Um. I remember having a, a long talk with uh, Walker Runner about. Yeah, he, he. I mean, he got to a point where he was growing numb to shootouts and pain, and. Um, I don't know. Yeah, it's. It's it, they're tough. That's for sure. And it's it's like one of those things where you, like you don't want them to happen, but when they do happen, like I, at least for me, I, I hear about other troopers being involved in shootouts that I wasn't there. And it makes me feel bad. Like, I I don't want them to happen, but if they do happen, I want to be there to help and protect, you know? Yeah, I feel that same way. LPG, the number one picker. Yeah, that's why it kind of made me upset when it was like, oh, I went 42 for like an hour to like, you know, just have a break. And then suddenly there was a shootout and I wasn't there. Yeah, no, I, I get like it. like a shootout happens right before I come on duty. It's like... I wish I was there. Okay, I am... Oh. Yeah, see? Works. Thinking about trying to find a new spot, though. I think people know I sit here now. <laughs> God damn, Toe is busy today. Yeah. All right, let's also, wanna... it seems like everyone's becoming a Toe driver. Yeah, I saw the mayor and then the, the judge. Yep, yep. <laughs> I was actually thinking about that soul as a method to rob a bank is pretend to be a banker. <laughs> so the car has to point where the front left is looking at the direction of travel. This area right here is a really big speeding area. You also have to put yourself in a spot that doesn't impede traffic, doesn't block business, but also can look at the road and immediately drive onto it if somebody violates the speed. Delta 7, right here is a good spot, but where? I feel like if nobody's looking underneath the subway station, it might be good. So like, ooh, this is actually pretty good, right about. not quite the angle. I think this is the proper angle. So you go right here like that. It can't be on a sidewalk though. So maybe this would be fine. We could test it out for a second. Forgive my mumbling. Like one of the next things that um, we want to work on is traffic. Um, so specific traffic assignments. So everybody has a patrol assignment. Um, but occasionally it would be nice to do traffic stops.
Uh, Kilo zero two ten four. I'll I'll look it up. Ten four. Thank you very much. Zero zero four to Mars. Go for Mars. All right. Let's take a look at Ferrari here. I'm on the first floor. Yeah, he kind of got like absolutely last night, so I'm not sure if he's going back able to be let out yet. Four. Reduce time to serve 278 months. So 278 months based on 116, no, 23, 23. Uh, I mean, technically, yeah, by now he's he's served his time. Major 0728. Yeah, because right now would be... Yeah. Yeah, I think he's good. Uh, Kilo Zero Two to all units. Vincent Ferrari has served his time. I'm currently going to call the warden to have him unjailed. Just be advised that he is uh, he's going to be out. 10-4. Okay. Major Zero Two are there any mechanic shops Hello, open right uh, now? Lieutenant or Bentley here with the San Andreas State Troopers. Uh, can I speak to the warden, please? Uh, yeah, the what? Bentley of the San Andreas State Troopers. Can I speak to the warden, please? Uh. No. I mean, you want me to spell it out? Okay, uh, fine. We'll do it this way. Uh, this is Lieutenant Bentley of the San Andreas Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation. Can I speak to your fucking warden, please? Thank you. God. Fucking Bolingbroke staff, man. Hey, Warden Lieutenant Bentley. How you doing? Yeah, Vincent Ferrari. He's been in there for a bit now. Uh, looks like he's ready to come out. Uh, any problem with that? Uh, yeah, make sure your guy at the gate checks his items, though, right? Like, you know, I don't know if he made any improvised weapons while he was in there or is smuggling anything. Like, can we can we make sure that that's not the case? The guy, uh, the guy's pretty aggressive against us. Seven, yeah, what do you mean uh, he's, he's asleep? No, then fire him. I don't know. You don't sleep on the job. No, well, frankly, Warren, no. We got we, the mayor has told us that the Department of Corrections and Rehab, which I happen to be a part of now, is in fact over Bolingbroke. So you report to me, Warden. Yeah, and there's gonna be more. It's not just gonna be me. Yeah, yeah. Wake the guy up. Make sure Ferrari walks out without anything on his person. All right. All right. Thank you. Ah, ten four. Zero zero three ten forty one. Good morning. Two twenty-two, ten forty-one, ten eight. Jesus Christ! All right, he's good. Thinking about Spire. You having fun with that, Alan? Spire with friends is a lot of fun. Yeah. So, um, I know you're interested in corrections work. Uh, yeah. I mean. We, uh, I managed to talk to the mayor a while ago, and uh, yeah, that that entire uh, Bolingbroke Penitentiary, until an actual Department of uh, Corrections can be established, uh, will report to the corrections troopers. So even like a corrections trooper at a at a solo level is still a supervisor of that entire building. Interestingly, though, no pay increase. Yeah, that tends to happen a lot with public service jobs. They tack on more responsibility, but don't, you know, increase the wages. We have to wear it home. Um, so we do get the speedometer at least in a moment looks like it's right near the like right near the um, traffic light this doesn't seem to be like great of a spot right now though yes please yes oh god i think one of the problems is that like the way that you have your radar set up it's supposed to be looking the left of us Correct. and we're kind of pointed with more of our right towards the street so I'm wondering if it's having problems picking it up because it's on the wrong side. Yeah, I mean, I could switch that over too. I usually always put it on the opposite because I want to track uh, opposite lanes of travel. 
Oh, yeah, that makes grab sense. That guy at all. Hmm, good point. So alternatively, what we could do... I wonder... This is pretty heavily fenced off. I don't know how well our speed trapping is going to work right here, but I'm willing to test it for a bit. So do this, and then... Hmm, also, on. like, straight ahead from us is basically, like, the same spot, but facing the other direction. So I feel like... Oh, let's test this one right here. Properly. Nope, didn't catch it at all. Yeah, you're right. Hmm. Something worth uh, exploring a bit more, because, like, right here, I can easily angle right here, but this is so obvious, you know? Like, I got that car coming up right there pretty easily on radar. But it was way back there because of the fact that it's on opposite. Hmm. Well, I digress. Got another hunting shot. Oh, we can just patrol for a bit. Um, can you look at the map and tell me, uh, or GPS, I should say, uh, and tell me where our units currently are? We'll take a spot that they're not. Okay. So it looks like we have one in Mirror Park, one by Hayes, um, and then another one that's right on Power Street. Gotcha. Okay. So pretty much Center City uh, should be fine. Yeah, um, that or like the, the west side by Burger Shop. Okay, nice. Which is where I normally go because normally, normally no one's there. Yeah, it's interesting. Uh, west side of the town too has the uh, couple Flicas and then the Vangelico. And it's also uh, a lot of our petty crime likes to hit the Great Ocean Highway. Yeah. So it's a good spot to, to be. Oh my God. Hey, Rainer. Go ahead. Look at those call logs. If we have a moment, I'm gonna we're gonna wellness check uh, pillbox. Selfishly speaking, I haven't seen Janet in a little bit ever since um, Cottonelli passed, so it would be nice to chat with her for a second. Yeah, sounds good. What's up, Tyler? State law, no hunting on Sundays. Ugh. Off duty Janet Bentley time? Maybe. You still looking at it? Oh, hi. Oh. Hello. Hi. Hello. Uh, hi. Hello. Hi. Um. Oh, I like your hair. Hi. I think they take And your I, outfit. I I I, I uh -huh. Um crazy shit happened today. I uh, we uh Really? Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, go figure. Wow, crazy day. Um mm -hmm. got to do uh use the corrections big old van thing, the armored vehicle. Oh. And we actually got like we were transporting a, a suspect that like you know, a lot of time served, everything like that. And uh, uh -huh. they had buddies pull up with hostages and blocked our entire transport and basically negotiated their release. <gasps> oh no! Yeah, it was wait. very um, it was very high ten high high intensity high wait, high did stress. Did they get wait? So it was it was prisoners? Did they wait? Yeah, did I mean, they we, get them? Yeah, I mean, we got the hostages no. safely uh, away from them. They got their convict back and. You know, we went on a chase with them. No officers were, were hurt. They got away, sure, but, like, I mean, we yeah, made them work for it. True. I mean, that entire negotiation process was probably an hour at least, you know? Wow. Yeah, it was Yeah, it was I'm intense. glad nobody got hurt, though. 
That's that's number one, right? I, I was telling yeah. Vance, um, Sergeant Vance, I was like, yeah, okay, ideal situation, right, is get the hostages, but also get all the suspects, right? Mm. Or at least a couple of them, right? But, like, the best outcome where we don't get a hostage is, or sorry, we don't get any of the suspects is saving the hostages and no troopers being hurt, and we achieved that. <laughs> Benley is currently acting that way. So, yeah, like, um, um, yeah, so I mean it ended ended well, you know. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, <clears throat> uh, ooh, okay. Um, I have what? What am I? What am I? Direct uh, reports right over there. No, I'm just, uh, uh, I'm not. Look, but I'm just. Uh, um, uh, I know it's, it's. It's hard. To, it's, it's, uh, I know it's. It's it, kind of. Uh, I know the mood's I'm been just, different I'm just since. Like, I just. Yeah. Just picturing. Uh, Mm. Things, yeah, things. Yeah, no, that's fair. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Anywho, how, how, yeah. how, how, how you how, how's how's the how is the here? Yeah, very nothing happened. Excellent. Yeah. E excellent, excellent. Okay. Uh, oh, She's oh, checking yeah, him out right oh, now. Yeah. Um. You know what? Uh, I'll be I'll be right back. Okay. All right, let's head on out. Um we're gonna grab one of my cars from out of impound. Uh, and then I'm probably just gonna 42. I feel like uh, we're slow enough, and we have enough troopers on that I can actually get some time off. Okay, sounds good. Nice. Looks like Lawson is continuing his stakeout on PDM. Oh. Um. I don't. I honestly, I don't know too much about it. He's just always there. Apparently, he's watching them. <laughs> hey, you know what? I mean, honestly, we have active warrants. It's pretty uh, good police work in general. Yeah. Oh, he's ve they're very obviously up there. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh my, oh my god. god, yeah, that's super <laughs> that's obvious. painfully obvious. I always go in the wrong way. I literally never don't I never do this right. Um do you mind taking my cruiser back, uh, 1019? I'm gonna yeah, go as well, but I gotta I'm gonna grab my own car. Yeah. Alright. Uh, kill zero two ten nineteen as well. Love the plate. Mm, all right. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to change some plates really quick and then head out. Yep. Very true. What are some of the plates I need to change? Sorry, what was that? 
So what are some of the... Sorry, I, I was not talking loud. What are some of the plates that I need to uh, change? That before you oh, leave. I was just going to ask if you could reinstall the Kilo Zero One on my Explorer. And we have two heat vehicles that have been decommissioned, but they're Explorers. So I just stripped them down back to spec and just want to get them updated. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I, know the I know the plate stuff is annoying, but once it's done, it's pretty well done. Aside from oh, yeah. one or two here or there. No, it's okay. Yeah, if uh, you want to bring them out, I'll, I'll take care of them. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. I heard uh, some shit went down with the... Uh... Transports today. Are you standing inside of me. What's going on here? Um, yeah. I mean, at the end at the end of the day, they got away, and that sucks. But no cops were harmed. We got hostages free from them. I mean, it was um it turned out about as good as it can turn out if we aren't going to capture them. You know. Hmm. So this needs to be one, right? Yes, just and, got it. This one's just the same. Just needs to go zero low. All right, go ahead and park that. This white looks like sh what the fuck. Runners. Oh, gotcha. Okay. It's runners. Give me just a minute. I'll let you know what the number on that one is. Oh, uh, okay. We can start with V1, too. Wait, what, runner was running around in a heat vehicle the whole time? Yeah, you had a heat explorer. Oh, uh, gotcha. Can I... Does this mean I can drive my, my heat explorer? Uh, no, they've both been stripped down to uh, fleet spec. <laughs> So this is going to be SASTV 044. I miss my heat explorer. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's this one right here. It is. I still technically own it, I think. We'll find out. All right, that can be parked. Is this 4-5 then? Yes, yep. sir. All righty. No, no, just run me over. It's better that way. Can we get this thing not white? Agreed. Uh, your four to kilo zero one. Go to kilo zero one. Uh, where is the uh, FTO email document? If you go into the uh, supervisors section of the email chain, it is pinned. Uh, for very much. Thank All you, right. Bentley. Yeah, no problem. Clear it up. Kilo zero two ten forty two. Yeah, you too. Uh, four, have a good night. Four, have a good evening. So Bentley can't wear, uh, I mean, he's not going to wear SAST garb while he's not actively being a cop, right? Ditch the white, make it cream. Uh, it would be kind of cool to update the fleet to make uh, uh, command cream cars, but I don't know. That's up to, that's up to commander. All right, so we got to change the t-shirt on this. Get a couple things adjusted to actually wear it out in public. Uh, Kilo 0003. Yeah. Hey, uh, where are you off to? I get re minor repairs before uh, actually going 10 8. Alright, 10 4. Where's the tucked in t shirt? So there, there has to be a normal tucked in t-shirt, right? One twenty seven seventy ten seven for dinner break. Yeah, and four. Bentley do be loving soccer. All right, Mosley's is closed. Do we know if any of the other shops are open? Uh, Harmony. It appears, yeah, Harmony may be open. Yeah, I'm not driving all the way up there. Okay. Ten four. Aren't you District 2 Commander? I'm not a commander. Lieutenant? Uh, yeah, 10 4. Oh, I mean, Harmony Falls under District 2. I mean, I'm in the city, though. District 2 does mean you like to be up in the hills with all the dirt and stuff, man. Oh, maybe you wouldn't get tickets if you were up there, would you? <laughs> I'm sorry. That's a good point. <laughs> 
Where is the fucking tucked in t-shirt? Hello? Am I stupid? What was that? It's kind of a cool look. <laughs> I don't know if I like this. 242 though. It's good to know that it's there. Oh my god, so many it's weird outfits. Going 1042. I've closed up the lobby and left notes for people to use 311. Hey, uh, Rainer. Uh, go ahead. Um, can you, uh, 76 at Mosley's? I got a mechanic that I'm bringing to Mosley's. Uh, Benny's right now, they're also open. Oh, never mind, okay. Never know. Uh, okay, here's what we're going to do. Right, there it is. Boom. And then what's the, what is it? That's a uh, body armor? There we go. Excellent. Do you hate talking to lawyers? Uh, not particularly, no. I I kind of want to become oh, okay. one eventually. Oh, then I'll keep everything to myself. <laughs> uh, lawyers are the worst because the law s legal system is the worst. So that makes sense. Um, but no, I I, I don't mind I mind I don't mind shooting Holy the shit with shit. them. Holy shit! Yeah, hunting. Have we uh have we checked on them? Yeah, yes, we did. a lot. The problem is how many God. shots just went off. That was an execution. Are you 42ing soon, Lieutenant? I am 42ing right now. Dude, that, those poor animals, oh, man. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, I'm gonna 42, but I'll be back later. Hey, Commander. You have a good day, all right? Yeah, right. Don't speed. <coughs> All right. <coughs> uh, the application process for clarification. What's up, Lex? Good luck on your application. Uh, basically, we just want to know if a you know the rules of the server. Uh, also, exclamation point admin. That's important. Um, that you know the rules of the server and that, uh, you know, you're going to be an engaging player, essentially. That you're not just going to join our server to, like, be s s goofy, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, I don't know. Just uh, read each question carefully on the application. Make sure you answer it accurately and with uh, the best of your knowledge, and uh, you're good. That's it. The uh, application process for TSRP is no, nowhere near as strenuous as any other server, as of, as of right now. It may have to eventually become that, but as of right now, it's not. Nary. All right, chat. Buckle in. Well, Misty. <laughs> Bentley was trying to be very professional around uh, subordinate. Uh, <laughs> what's up? Uh, hi, hi, hi. Hi. You're uh. Forty-two. You're. Oh. Um, <laughs> Alpha 13's gonna go 1042 for a minute. 
a, a few, a few, a few, several. <laughs> Yeah, that's yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, okay. That's, yeah. This, this kind of no, reminds me is... of the the gun thing. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Oh, uh huh. That wow. A hundred. Yeah. Okay. Um. <laughs> uh, that. Oh, I I miss I oh you know I haven't shot a gun in a while. Oh. Um. <clears throat> Ooh. Yeah. Is this inconspicuous enough? Do you think? Uh -huh. Oh, good. All right. Wait, what? Oh, shit. Wait, what's happening? Wait, what's happening? Wait, what's happening? Okay, hold on. Hold on. Wait We're not, not the car. No. Mm -mm. Oh. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, I'll follow you. Wait a second. Wait, not the car, but, but a bush? <laughs> Listen. I'm, I'm listening. To find some place that's. Uh, listen. Uh, limited resources. We get in this. This, 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 is, this doesn't have to be the place. We can make a different place. Do we need a different place? I can find a new place. No, come on. <laughs> oh. In the bush. Okay. okay. Get, sir. Yes, ma'am. Sir, I would like you in the bush. Yes, okay, all right. Take those sexy clothes off. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> You know, that's uh, it's uh, you know, they're playing Twister. You know, the game where you put the you put the mat on the ground and then uh, you know, you just you put your body parts in places and things. You know, they're just playing a little a little tic tac y toe. You know, I don't know, I don't know what is wrong with this emo wall. What the fuck? Oh my god. And you know, uh, you know, and and this scene right here, chat is just some of my, it's just some of my favorite art. You know, you got what's her nuts from that one anime dancing in the background. You know, it's a good song. She's just dancing. You know, you got SpongeBob licking some licking some cream. You know, cream's good. And you got the eyebrows raising because you you know that cream's good. You know, he's just. SpongeBob is just is you know and look at some cream. TSR TSERP is just a fucking a typo, you know. It's just a typo. It's just a it's just a typo. <laughs> um, you know, sex. <laughs> <laughs> All right.
Damn, Dr. Janet kind of into the working class man, huh? That outfit got her. Crazy. All right, let's get out. Let's get back in there. Oh, okay. Whew. Um. Oh, God. But there's a lot of bush here. Oh. Uh, Wait, where are my where are my clothes? Hold on. Oh, that's oh sorry, that's not my shirt. That's not my oh, shirt. I'm no, sorry. No, no, that's, no. That was you. Oh wow. Uh huh. Uh huh. I feel. I feel. I. Why? Why am I itchy? What? Why are you itchy? Why am I itchy? Wait, what? Oh no. Oh, that's very itchy. Ah, ah, I'm itchy too. What the fuck? Oh no. Ah, what bush did oh, you put no. us in? I didn't look. <gasps> we, I think we should. We, we gotta go to pillbox, don't we? Wait, do you see that taxi? Wait. Look, peek out, peek out. Oh, what the fuck? Uh. Oh. Uh. Uh, uh, where are my clothes? Where are your clothes? Oh, okay. Hold on. Here, I have, I have elite. Uh, I found some. I found something here. Okay. Uh, that. Mm. Those are your pants. No, no, they're. I don't think they're my pants. Are they? I don't have pants. Oh, oh, they. Oh, okay, they're definitely my pants. Hold on. Uh -huh. Wait, where's my scarf thingy? I need my scarf. I, I'm self-conscious about my neck, and I need. I need my scarf. Do you see my scarf? No. Oh, I found it. I found it. I found it. Okay, I'm good. Uh, oh, I found. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. I, I found my shirt at ah, least. It's okay. getting itchier. What the heck? I know. We, uh, fuck it. I don't care about my shirt. We got to pillbox. Very itchy. I can't find my dress or my oh, coat or God. whatever it is. Wait, where? Uh, Wait, where is it? Hold on. I don't know. Oh, here it is. Nice. <laughs> I found it. Nice. Very quickly, actually. You just needed to look over here. Okay. It's just uh, it was just too uh. Ah, G G G G G G G G G G. Oh man! Oh my goodness! My oh my my butt is just. Nope! Nope! Don't itch it! Don't itch it! My butt is just. I have You're gonna make it. it worse. I have to itch it. Okay, okay, we gotta figure out. Oh. We gotta figure this out before we get there. What what the fuck oh. happened? That we're itchy. Oh. And um, I don't have a shirt. Sh Shannon? What? I hate to tell you, I think it's pretty obvious what happened. I'm gonna I'm gonna say that we were attacked by a bushman. He was a, a, a super villain. Okay, alright, yeah, named yeah, the that Bushman. Might work. Yeah, uh-huh, yeah, that uh-huh. Oh, oh oh my legs. My legs. Uh, uh, I'm itchy. I'm itchy, uh, Calisto. Why am I itchy, oh, Calisto? Calisto. You might want to put on my gloves. Uh, help! And my legs, oh, my whole legs. legs. Help! Okay, come on, guys. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. okay. Your gloves on there. Yeah. yeah. What did you guys do? We got attacked by a bush what, uh -huh. man. The bush by a bush It's a villain box. that hides in the uh, yeah. bins of bush. Oh, oh. Yeah, and he like Maybe pulls you into the, the okay. bush and, and no, takes we your didn't clothes. Go into, I mean, the uh, bush went into us. Yeah, the bush got us. Okay, yeah, just like last time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nope, not like, well, nope. What? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what about. you're talking about. Yeah, exactly. Uh-huh. So, uh, yeah, yeah, well, he, yeah. 
Yeah, I'm so I'm gonna get you guys some cream. Hang on. Oh, good. Yeah, cream was close yeah. to cream was. <laughs> oh, what's the. It's like nervous, right? Oh, I'm so itchy. Oh, I'm so itchy. Oh, I'm so itchy. <laughs> Help me. Oh, Janet cream on me. That okay. Oh. Here, here. Wait. Where, where, where do you? Everywhere. Do you just spooge it. Just, uh, okay. All right. Just oh. shoot your load on my chest and rub it. Oh. <laughs> Quickly. <laughs> what did you guys do? Oh, thank oh, God. Yeah, oh, yeah. Wow. You are. Oh, that's warm. Very creamy. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, that immediately feels better, though. Nice. <laughs> My butt itches. Who wants to cream my butt? Wait, turn around. I'll do it. I'm, I'm cream my butt. Your butt. I'm not going to get your butt. I'll get your butt. That's butt. Okay, Put cream Put your butt my near butt. me. Please cream my butt. I'll cream on your butt. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Are you ready for my yeah, cream? I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm just going to get your legs here. There he, here it comes. Okay. There you go. Nice. There you go. Nice. There you go. Oh. It feels very Did wet. You use the whole tube? Yeah, Did very, you use, okay, there you use we the go. Whole thing? It was the Bushman. It, feel, it feels like a lot of creep. Yeah. Okay. It was the Bushman. Okay, are we. Are, yeah, okay. we. How are we doing? Close, how are we doing? Close oh, to I feel immediately better. Yeah. 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 Cream relief is only temporary, though. Yes, yeah, so and Bushman uh, is forever. Bother you, but should they be using the helicopter to fly over and go over to, like, a car show? Oh, uh, Jared's doing that? I believe so. I don't have my radio on. I'm okay. not on duty. Um, but no, they, they shouldn't. About it. Okay. They they shouldn't. <laughs> my my butt is very itchy. I, I uh... still itchy. Do you need more cream? No, it's not. It's just like what so. The you know the. Happened? What happened? Bush, bush man, bush, bush. We were going bush for a, wa a normal walk. A normal person walk. Yeah. Yep. Normal and walk where you lose yeah. your shirt. No, okay. uh, he took the, my The bush man took, took it. Yeah, yeah, he was like, fuck your shirt. And He like takes your clothes. Yeah. And then he was like, bah, bush man, give me your shirt. Yeah. And I was like, really no. You wanted your uh, tools too there. Yep, right? he took those too. Yep. And yeah. I was like, no, mm -hmm. bush man, don't, please. Yeah, ah. don't, no. And he, uh, he tackled us. And yeah. we got itchy, and my my stuff's yeah. gone. I should file a but, yeah. police report. Luckily, I got to keep, I got all my clothes because sh Shannon uh, very I, I, I bravely fought, I fought him. I fought so him off. Yeah, off? your your clothes were off, Janet. No, I'm saying I got. He didn't get mine. Yeah, we got so him back. He, we, mine she, so he I... never got them because yeah. of my for, uh, my bravery. So if yeah, it's bravery. To the bushes right now. I'm not gonna find anything. No, you don't know uh, you. You he's can... he's long gone. She, that one, oh, that one, okay. perfect. We, we did. Yeah, we're out. Yeah, of, we're we're, we're in the clear. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. Nice. Let's go. Nice. Oh, yeah. Um. Oh, yeah. Anywho, I, I gotta I gotta catch a flight pretty soon. Um. Oh, I'll be back. I'll be back like tomorrow though. It's like a one night flight just back oh, home. Okay. All right. All right. Well, okay. All right. All right. This was great. Um. Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. I'll see you at home though. Um. Uh, tomorrow. Okay. And sorry for how I've been the last few days. Um. I, I feel better, but not, but, it, but I am. It's okay. Okay. It's okay. No, I, I, okay. I. I oh. oh, okay. That yeah. was very sweet. Okay. Yeah. And okay. Yeah. Okay. I, I've been weird too. It's okay. It's okay. I, we, I'll see you soon. Yeah. We, uh, oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, you're great. Uh, d d have a good, yeah. Oh, you, yeah. Thank you. Thank you.
<laughs> what a fucking scene, dude. <laughs> it's hell of a way to end the weekend, that's for sure. Oh, calm down. There we go. Oh, throw that ass. All right, perfect. All right, chat. Hope you had a wonderful time today. I'll give you guys my face. I don't have anything on camera-wise. Hopefully you guys had a wonderful time with me this weekend. I appreciate you guys hanging out every single day that you did. Um, so here's the plan for next week. I'm probably going to be streaming at least Monday and Wednesday. Uh, I don't know about Tuesday, but Wednesday we're going to go back to, I think the Hump Day Homies, we're good to go. We're going to start doing GTFO pretty pretty soon. I think we're good for it. Um, So GTFO with the fucking boys on Wednesday. Tomorrow, if I stream tomorrow, it'll either be tomorrow or Tuesday, it will be Cuphead. We're going back to Cuphead. Um, and then we'll look forward to role play again next weekend. All right. I appreciate you guys immensely for hanging out with me tonight, as I always do. Um, you know, the numbers still look great. The community is still great. You guys are all still absolutely fucking incredible. And I appreciate you every every time I get to go live. All right. Sorry, I haven't shown my face lately. Uh, my hair is really long because I'm struggling so hard, chat, to find a barber near me that used to do my hair or that can do my hair the way I like it. Uh so I'm working on it. Once I find that barber, I'll find someone to color the hair. I still owe you guys hot pink for a while um, for hitting, what was it, 900 subs uh, a while ago. Um, and then we'll talk about it. Once I once I fulfill that payment, we'll talk about uh, potential other subathon, supportathon, things like that down the line. Because um, I do want to do something fun for you guys again. Um, but uh, I still owe you guys that. I am working towards it. I just I really have to find a barber, and it's really difficult where I move to. Um, so anyway, I appreciate you guys hanging out with me today. Uh, 100%, 120%, 150%. Appreciate it. Uh, let's go ahead and give a host to... Uh, we're going to K-Quinn, dude. Fuck it. I haven't hosted K-Quinn before. Let's host K-Quinn. She plays Dr. Janet, if you don't know. You guys have a wonderful night. I will see you maybe tomorrow, if not definitely by Tuesday. And I love you. I absolutely mean that. Thank you for being here today. All right. Bye-bye. It was exciting.